right. Good morning, everyone. That's bandit. Um, I'm waiting for Kathy to come in and waiting for guests to arrive. This is a live <laughs> bandit. This is a live video, a live audience. So we'll be talking with the audience. We're just hanging out to work on our August cast holders today and go over the pockets that we're making for our tags. And that's what we'll be working on today. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, I was going to show a couple paper packs that I bought. And um, again, if you're going to be taking part in the file folders, that's what we're going to be working on today as well. Okay, I'll take a drink real quick. I wait for everybody to come in. Our weather has been nice and cool for August, and I have really, really enjoyed it. I'm really thankful to have had cool weather, let me tell you. Very happy to have some cool weather. Super happy with my August folder. It's turned out so well. I'm so happy with it. It's so pretty. wondering what paper I'm using um, I'm using the Stamperia uh, Stamperia time is an illusion and that's the paper pack that I was using on my folder is beautiful paper by Stamperia this is an image I got from Katherine Anderson's book and this is a Carabella rice paper that I collaged on top and um, I'm super happy with it. I don't know where everybody is. I'm just going to keep going. Anyway, so I made a couple uh, big doors and I'm going to be putting these inside the folder. And I finished my door journal too, which I'm super happy about that. So that's going to go inside my folder for my August cast folder. And I think this will look super cute. I have this in here. And I think I'm going to take my chipboard doors and I'm going to uh, emboss these today, which is a really fun technique, and add these to my door uh, folder. And I still need to I still need to sew these in, but I finally finished my door journal. So I'm super happy about that. Good morning, everyone. Oh, does my video look blurry? Huh. I hope if I, if I zoom, it took a while for you guys to show up too, so I'm half wondering if my internet's a little wonky. It's fuzzy for everybody. That's weird. My internet's a little wonky. Does it help if I turn on my light? Hi, Abigail. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Cheryl. Make sure you have to click on the gear at the bottom of the YouTube page and make sure you are on a seven, was it 740? Isn't it beautiful paper? I love this paper. Stamperia has the prettiest paper. Oh, good. It's clear now. Oh, good. Because it took a little while for your guys' chat to show up. So I guess I definitely there was some sort of glitch in my internet, maybe. 
Hi, Val. A little better for you. Yeah, click the gear at the bottom of the page and make sure you're on 740 because YouTube will put you on 140 and and keep you there if if they can get by with giving you crappy uh, viewing. They will. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Gail. Hi, Candy. Hi, Val. Oh, hi, Val. Oh, hi, Janice. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Peggy. Hey, Cheryl. I think I've got everybody. Yeah, the paper is, um, this was all Kathy's fault. <laughs> um, Kathy Arbor streamed yesterday, and she did a, um, I think it was one of the first or second file folders she did, and she used this paper. Stamperia Time is an illusion. She uses paper. And as soon as I saw this paper, I was like, oh, my gosh, it's gorgeous. And um, I'll show you what's left. <laughs> this is what's left in the paper pack. So it's double sided and it's very uh, grungy and kind of rusty and grungy. It's pretty awesome. You can see they collaged it. You can see it's beautiful details in her paper. You can see you can see the cracks. You can see where they collaged the letters, the splats, the stamping. It's just I love their paper. This is what's on the cover, and the florals are equally beautiful. This is what's left. You know, when you get a paper pack like this, it's so pretty that you will keep every bit of it. You won't like throw, you know, some paper, you'll pitch the scraps. This is one paper that you'll keep every bit of it and not throw any of it away. These were tags that came in it, and I was whacking on the tags, adding the little locks to my door journal. That's the back of this one. But it's the type of paper that uh, you just don't want to. You just don't want to throw away. <laughs> it's every little bit is pretty. Yeah, it's grungy and pretty. Hi, Popo. Kathy will be here in a little bit. Um, i zoom in just a smidge. I know it's running. There you go. There you go. And, um, yeah, it's a type of paper that you will use every little bit. There's no wasting this paper. So, I like that it's all done already for you. You know, it almost looks like a wallpaper. You know, like grungy wallpaper, like old wallpaper, peeling off the walls of an old house. So cool. So that's what's left of my paper bag. Oh, okay. My husband came in. I turned around to see what he wanted. Open oh, there's the back of it. Even uh, the back of the cover, they make sure they, oops, they put paper. So there's that side. You see, this is the back of the cover, so nothing's wasted. And this one, I love her. Isn't she pretty? I like how they used all the uh, the stencils and the papers around her and her hair. So I'm going to show my books, and we're going to work on some pockets. and it's, It should be a lot of fun. I want to show how to do the pockets in case anyone missed. Kathy's stream on Tuesday. I want to make sure that everybody knows how to do them if you're going to um, be in the tag swap and want to make it take it a tag, you know, a, oh my goodness, I can't talk, a pocket holder for your tags. <clears throat> right? I mean, it's also gorgeous. Hi, Dot. Hi, Devin. Oh, hi, Joan. I'm glad you're here, Popo. You're listening and working. Thanks for being here. I, I love uh, 
listening to your you at the <laughs> rosemary you're crack me up if uh you're you're so fast on the mark like boom she said something boom you got something to say back i wish my mind worked that fast i really do <laughs> I love your quick wit and sense of humor. I so wish I could do that. So, so where I started at, here you go. So again, I just covered a basic file folder with this paper and then I use a ruler, the deco edge ruler and tore it and got the torn edge and then I went over the edges with uh, Jane Davenport squid ink and um, it just is it looks blue on the you know like a blue shade for the sticker but it's actually a tur like a turquoise like the color of the ink is way different than what's on there you go that'd be a good example so this is I think the, to me, the color looks a lot different than what the sticker is. Yeah, so you can see that. So I was really happy with this color. I like this color better than what's on the sticker. Whoops. My camera is not like that. So anyway, so that's what I use on the edges. And then I had to use Jane Davin, or Jane after I used a Jane Davenport ink, I had to use Katherine Anderson's image. Um, she also, this is on the cover. Oh, okay. Uh, Kathy's having computer problems. She said it. And she'll be here after she figures out. I was wondering where she was because she was up before I was. <laughs> she was awake before me. So this was in her book, and um, if you haven't seen her book, Katherine Anderson's book, it is packed full of vintage ladies and butterflies, and she has where you can cut them out yourself and then put the butterfly wings behind them like that. Um, like I said, it's packed full of butterflies, which is my favorite. As an old book cover. So if you, this is a great book if you're looking for vintage images to use in your collages. These are from her collection of vintage images that she put in the book. And they're double-sided. And they're really nice. So I wanted to show you. I have showed this before. But for those of you who haven't seen it, it's... it's um, well, I haven't really seen a book like this that uh, my personal self, I have a lot of books. So anyway, I think the collage images, these old postcards, journals, like I said, there's a lot of pictures in here that are unique, I think. Like there's even, you know, some of the family, some are, there's some are in different tones. But if you're looking for vintage images, this is a great book. So... Let me put this away. I want to show you guys. Um, I was enabled to get. I was enabled by Kathy. This is all her fault. And I got these two books. It's called The Love of Paper Botanicals and The Love of Paper Floral. They are so pretty. Good morning, Jean. How are you? Hi, Gail. Isn't it? Oh yeah, you took her class. Did you? Do you have an Instagram? Did you post your work anywhere? Like uh, what you made in her class so we could see. Rosemary is salty. <laughs> yeah, Rosemary is salty like uh, like Jersey. I like when she says, "I'm feeling salty today." <laughs> I'm going to my paint, guys. I'm already hot. Okay. So, this is the paper that she that Kathy's been making some of her pockets out of. And this is, and uh, she thought I had this one. I had neither. I had the flow book, but I didn't have this one. 
Hi, Brenda. And I wanted to show you guys how pretty, if you've gotten the flow paper books, it's very similar. Um, like she was saying, she thinks it's the American version. You can see how thick they are. They're about $20 on Amazon. And it is a lot, but there is a lot inside. So um, if you like paper art like I do, collaging, scrapbooking type things, uh, making cards, you'll like this paper. It even actually has envelopes in here. Eileen's not here, so I can say, ha ha. And then pockets and envelopes, and you don't even have to make your own either. He has the folds. So, I don't know. This would be more or less to journal on. I think this is less uh, appealing to me than the actual pages. I like it as stickers. I'll be putting these in my journal. I love a good sticker. And on the back of the sticker paper, there's some beautiful images of, of cactuses and flowers. And these are nice because, I'm going to put this behind so I get rid of the glare. These are nice because they're cards. They're perforated cards. So everything in here is meant to tear out and use. You could use these for tip-ins. They're actually supposed to be like postcards. I guess you could put your art on the back and mail those out. And anyway, it has some beautiful papers. If you love paper as much as I do, I, I really do love paper. Um, it has some pretty images. So, even has little, uh, the, uh, they call them gallery walls, where you have these images you could frame and put on your wall and decorate your house with, which I think is really cool. Oh, hi, Cynthia. Oh, loving my life. Thank you so much. $20 for a Bella Grace. So $20 isn't a lot when they're full of yummy. That's true. That's true, Brenda. They are like, they are like 20 bucks for the Bella Grace and stuff. Yeah. Um, Kathleen Anderson. I wanted to show you that it's spelled with a C. Okay, so when you look her up on Amazon, she also has a website, and <clears throat> I think I don't have any mods right now, but um, Catherine Anderson is, um, also has her own website, and it's and um, I could post that later. Let's see if I can find it on my bookmarks, and if you can, um, maybe because there's a lot of Catherine Anderson authors on on uh, Amazon key and vintage journal imagery by Katherine Anderson and you'll get all of her books her door books her window books her her other collage imagery books but there's a lot of authors by this name on, uh, on Amazon which gets a little confusing so make sure you can key in vintage journal imagery, the name specifically, and then you'll get the rest of her books. Um, okay, Gail hasn't posted anything yet, but she will. Okay, I would, I'm just, I just would love to see it. I'm just nosy. <laughs> I'm just nosy. I love to see everybody's art, and I didn't take Catherine's class. So I would love to see it. So, no pressure. I'm just nosy. Yeah, there are a lot of authors for Katherine Anderson. Let's see if I can find it for you guys. I'll put that there so it stays. Because I can go, I can go into my. Uh, oh, it's Kat, It might be it's Katherine Anderson Studio is her website. And then that has a list of her books. Let's see. All right. Well, and it has a list of her books, and it has a list of her classes. I'm trying to find her books on here where I post it. I'm still here, just you can't see me. Uh. Where are her books? Hold on. I'm 
trying to find a page with the books. Because I know she has a deal on her books that if you buy them, you get a deal. You also get some. Okay, if you scroll down, okay. Okay, at the top is her classes, at the bottom, okay, if you scroll down, you'll see her books. Let me put this in. Found it. There it is. So there's her website. And then if you scroll, you'll see the list of her classes on that page. You keep scrolling down, and then you'll see all her books, all in one place. Like I said, they're all available on Amazon, too. Um, okay, so these are the ones, and this, I love how they, they frame these. I think this is a cool idea to, to put these in a frame. If you like this kind of style, which is kind of, kind of hippie style, boho, um, I'm going to probably, I will probably cut these out and use these in a journal more than likely, but they're really, this is like a really thick cardboard, you know what I mean? So, super thick. And that's that's what she's saying to use those. They're meant for frames or whatever. Let's see if I can, I'm sorry. Let's see if I can pick up the pace a little bit. So, I'll spend all my time on this. Again, uh, more papers. It's nice to see a flip because um, I bought the book yesterday that Kathy Arbor showed. And then when I looked, went to look her for the book, there's no um, pictures um, of the book. And I don't like buying a book that doesn't show the content that's in it. Pictures, words, topics. These are stickers, too. And she bravely bought it without seeing um, seeing what was in it. And um, you can see all these are stickers. On the, um, is I don't know how. Yeah, I was glad she bought it. These are actually little projects. They have the directions and how to make 3D paper succulents. Or you can just cut them out and use them. But they have little projects in the book, similar to the flow, similar to Daphne's diary. Or you just cut out and use the images. I can just use the back of these. I can see these being pretty tags or cards. If you don't want to do that, it has a little travel journal. Just super cute. It has a little travel journal inside. I don't travel, but you could use this for other things besides a travel journal. Just be a pre-made book already. And you could just cover up the work, cover that up, and voila. So I'm going to just leave that out. Again, there's more stickers. These are more like a, I'm sorry, these are cardboard. These are more like 3D garland, and which I think is a super cute idea. But I think I would just use these in our journal myself. But you see there's two. So I think it's like you I think you slide them like, let me think. Hold on. Is it something like this? Then it would be upside down. How does this work? Maybe I need the other one. Hold on. That would be the same. Somehow. Remove the cardboard, separate the vertical slips at the top and bottom, punch each each, and then each component ground consists of two pieces. Okay, this is where I get Tom in here to do everything. He's so good at putting stuff together. Anyway, if you got little kids, they would probably, there we go. They would probably enjoy, there we go, now I got it right, would enjoy doing this. I think I would just use these, truthfully, I would just glue these into a page. But, you know, whatever floats your boat, right? So, it's just to hang up and make some sort of cute little 3D. So, like I said, these are super cute. I would just use these on a journal page, my personal self. But, anyway, so letters, stickers. Make sure not miss anything. Hi, Kimberly. Yeah, they are key size, and I think they would be great. Just oh, hi, Janet Nash. By the way, I love your uh, YouTube. She streams on Monday mornings, and she is uh, very relaxing to watch. She's very creative. 
If y'all don't follow Janet Nash, check her out. She's on Monday morning. I love this. This is the uh, wrapping paper that they include. And, um, yeah, <laughs> Devin, they, they would make a good love maintenance plan. <laughs> no need to keep them alive. <laughs> that was really good. Oh my gosh. Aren't they creative how they put these in here? Okay, there's stickers. I'm gonna use oh, I'm gonna use these in my daily journal. I just got caught up in my daily journal yesterday and it was a lot of work, but I got caught up. It really is it defeats the purpose of daily if you get behind. But I'm still yeah, we're getting in a habit of doing it because I let it go too long. And then I actually had to backtrack myself on using my phone, trying to figure out, uh, did I walk that day? Did I go to the store that day? And I was actually using my phone to backtrack and try to figure out what I did. And I was like, that was just a week ago. So it wasn't anything, apparently it wasn't anything great because I couldn't even remember what I did. But yeah. So I figured out that I at least exercised that day. So, isn't this cute, this poster? This would be fun to try to recreate. I mean, to try to paint and recreate. Also, you could just go in here and just cut, fussy cut this out, which would be totally fun to do. If you're working on a big surface, cut these out. Or you could frame it like they did. They show it this one framed. So I like all the goodies. I'm a sucker. I love it. It's fun. Now the the other one that um, Kathy got is called the Love of Paper mm -hmm. Florals. And um, let's see. Oh, hi Christina. Hi Helen. Good morning. Houseplants to neighbors to water while, while we're away. Oh, yeah, that's true. Thanks for posting the links to the books. Cut one hand. <laughs> Christine was able to figure out what I was doing wrong. That's, yeah, that's terrible. I was like struggling to put those together. You sound tired today. Oh, there's Kathy. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Kathy. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. I missed having you here. It's weird talking without you here. <laughs> I <can't laughs> <hear this. laughs> I've been showing the Love of Paper. I showed the Love of Paper Botanicals. I'm showing the Love of Paper Florals. Oh, cool. Go ahead and keep yours big if you want. I'm just getting situated. I don't, my computer is acting goofy, so I turned it off and started it, and that seemed to fix everything. So. Well, I think mine was too because they said I was uh, I was blurry when I first came on and I had no like nobody was here and then a bunch of people was here. Oh. So I feel like my internet glitched or StreamYard or YouTube have it had a glitch. Yeah, so, something did. Yeah, because I don't normally have it be blurry and I was like, gosh, I I, I guess everyone's busy today or someone else is streaming so i was like i'm gonna go on so i'm just used to having a live audience or you and have someone to talk to and to talk to I'm, i think i had a hard time um going and doing videos after streaming with somebody and having a live audience so i think it would be hard to go back and forth and um unless you did it and fast forward it and added music to it. I think it would be really difficult to do this by, you know, I'm in the habit of having someone in the studio with me and people to talk to and chat and it'd be kind of lonely. I don't know if I would like, you know, I've done a couple videos, but. No, I know what you mean. And it's just nice having that two sets of eyes on chat. Otherwise it it's nerve wracking because 
you don't want to you don't want to ignore people in chat but then you want to be able to you know show things and have a good stream so even just the extra set of eyes in this in the mods all helps so it does it, it really does and we have good people that watch us i mean they keep chat going they let us they they're not afraid to let us know like you know they let us know if something's going on so the more to me the more interaction the better i agree hi ann how are you hi carla i'm just doing a flip through the love of paper florals got some beautiful watercolor images in here and i love all the stickers i'm so going to be using these if you have planners or daily journals put these on or tags or if you have kids they will like it i'm a kid so and did you see this one colin did you see this have you gotten there yet yeah, I'm almost there. I, I love thought you the, would like this. I love the little books they tuck in. I said, even if you don't use it for the purpose that they have it. Right. Like, I, I love the pinks and grays. That's so See, pretty. that's what I used on my first. Um, I love those colors uh, together. The pinks and grays are beautiful together. Yeah, I love the little books. I was telling them, like, you could totally just covered up the name the other was a travel journal and you could uh, if you didn't have a lot of plans you could just just journal in this and glue in it and make this a daily journal um yeah, yeah you wanna, it's already done for you so i may you, try and use it what it's for because see how on the left hand side it gives you like you can put the name of the plant like its scientific name its common name you know, you can yeah. make notes like, oh, I saw this on my walk. And then you get to draw a picture of it. So I thought that was kind of cool. I I think that is really cool. So I think it, like I said, I think it definitely, this was interesting here, the paper flowers. They had 3D flat, 3D, um, 3D little um, guys in the other book. And this book they have where you can do, cut these flowers out and make 3D flowers. Uh, but they were also saying if you don't want it to be like this thick cardstock, to use these as templates, and you could do these do this with paper, you know, like a you know a thinner paper. Right. Use it as a template, or I was just thinking jelly plate so, mask. Yeah, I was just gonna say that stencil and mask. Yeah, so it's like having a mask, which I think is really cool. So yeah, so this definitely is fun because you know, like. You know, by the shape, you know exactly what it is. You know what I mean? You're like, yeah. you could use it. And like at the back, it's different color. That way, when you bend it, you have this two-sided image. So it's like it's like a, a it's like a kid book for grown-ups. Oh. These little activities, right? Oh, it is. It's like those. I remember having books like that when I was a kid. I loved activity books when I was a kid. I love the invisible pen where you'd have to figure out the answer and you rub it over and then the answer would appear the invisible pens were so fun oh yeah or you like, uh, scratch through and find the message i can't remember the name of those books oh bye devin have a good day thanks for coming in bye devin hi everybody i don't think i said hello to everybody so, hi, I hope everybody's good. It's like, uh, I can't remember the name of this book with the invisible pen. Those were my favorite books. Because they had games and puzzles and you rub the pen over it and then you the answer would be revealed. Jeez. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember because this, this kind of reminds me of that, just playing and having little activity books. Oh, wow. I remember like the magnetic, I forget what these were called, but you had like the gray piece of paper and you'd write on it and the words would show up and then you'd lift up the paper and then you could start all over again. Now you could take this part of it and use it for a stencil, uh -huh. you know, so don't throw that away. So this would become your stencil and then here's your mask. So I like that. So it's got these yesterday in the mail and I was very excited and it has some lettering in here. You can fussy cut these out or glue these down the page. I love this piece. 
That's my 80. That's my 80 self that likes the peach. <laughs> I had peach and blue and mauve and blue decor in my house when I was young. And I was just, and I had the big, you know how the big puffy sleeves were in where I had big puffy curtains too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all that. oh yes, the peach and the mauve with a little bit of burgundy or green. Yep, and puffy curtains, like the puffy shoulder sleeves. Um, yes. <laughs> and why did I not get the correlation between the puffy, the puffy curtains and the puffy sleeves? In fact, <laughs> the house decor, when your house decor mimics what you're wearing, you need to think about that. <laughs> yeah. There's more wrapping paper. There's two in here. And more stickers. So each one is different styles. I wonder how often they come out with these books. I don't know. There's I, I saw three of them. Okay, there's three now. Okay, so I'm wondering if this is like a, every like six months. I don't know, but I like them. I wonder how often they come out with them. It's in, the cover is interesting too because it's like a, a waterproof uh, slick. It's real slick and almost waterproof cover. Like it's really interesting to cover alone. This one is the poster in the back of this one. That's a big botanical. Did you this one you use the botanical in, images in your book? What was that? Did you use these in your botanical book? Um. No, because I didn't have this one. Is that from the latest one? It's one you have in front of you. Oh, okay. Because I used, I had this for my botanicals. Oh, this one's in the florals. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> okay. no. I had some. I had some books that I bought, and I had some. Uh, I went online. I use mostly. I say this has got some beautiful botanicals in it. I know I may add some of those to my botanical book. That's what I was thinking. Here's what, um, because I didn't have this. I wish I had this one when I did the botanicals. I used a lot of, I used a lot from here. This is, I made a photocopy. I copied these. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. I scanned them and printed them. Oh, boy. But I wish I had, see, I got this one because it said botanicals on it, but I actually, I could have used both of them in there. So I'll go back and add some stuff to it. All right, so. I like how perforated, that's really easy to, to remove. I know, because some of them, you're pulling them out of the, uh, you're pulling them out of the binding and they end up ripping them. These are made to come out, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, some of the Daphne Diary ones, you definitely are tearing it. You're not. Um, yeah. They aren't perforated like that. I think the only the thing, only the activity ones are. But if you want to take out anything else, you can't. I want to let's see if I can find mix and match some papers here. So what I'm going to do is um, I want to make a pocket and show everybody how to do the pocket and then um, go on and work on my August folder. I'm really proud of myself that I'm caught up on my August folders finally. Oh, that's good. I think I'm going to work on my August folder today. Hopefully, I hope I didn't go too fast on Tuesday. Well, I don't know if you did or not. I don't think any, no one said anything. Okay, good. So I, I figured people, you know, you'd be doing it or people could go back and watch, watch the video too. Because I think if it was, yeah, that's true too. And I don't know how many exactly played along, but I felt like, well, just in case we should, um, I need to make more pockets anyway, because I only have a couple <laughs> pages done. I've been playing, um, I've been playing catch up. Yeah, I kind of have been. That's my game. Oh, yeah, that was in the uh, Love of Florals, too. I think this is beautiful. I love this. this oh, what's be, on the other side of that this one? This would be a great tip in. And this is equally beautiful with all, it's like a watercolored 
I used that in my botanical journal. Oh, you did the back side. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love that. Um, I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep these this this uh, paper book on my desk. So, um, so I so I pull from it. Oh, that's a good idea. You know, because if it's sitting, if I move it off to the side, I'm gonna I'm more likely forget. I think I'm gonna keep these like as a like a desk journal or whatever on my. So I'll pull out the papers and use it. And I have the paper, the flow papers over in a, uh, together in a basket over there. And they are all together. But I do have a tendency to forget about them, which is sad. So. I love the cover of your binder. Oh, thanks. Isn't it pretty on a canvas? Beautiful. So we're going to make it for doing a tag swap. And it's going to be super fun. And. So we bought the Seth Apter Spellbinders book off his website, and we are inking the edges and making pockets for tags, and we're going to put our tags in here that people send us. Here we're, uh, we've got two groups of 12 so far. You're welcome to join. Um, we get, as long as we get even amounts of numbers, but we have a month to get these done. Black and white green with one proper color. And um, I'm and I know that uh, Jeannie got this book, and I think someone else she's going to do the tags with us. And someone else got the book. Yeah, a couple of people have ordered it already. But yeah, and then some are just getting the books because they like the books, <laughs> and that's okay too. <laughs> yeah, some are just getting the book and not doing the tag swap. It is a fun binder. It, it is. It's a really pretty. It's a really pretty book. Okay. I'll put this where yeah. I get most of the flower on here. Okay, so we're going to do some pockets. For those of you that's already seen this, I'm sorry. But we're just going to do it just for people watching the video or someone who missed it the other day. I want to make sure to everybody in case they want to make this. And you don't have to use Seth after binder. You can just use whatever you have. Oh, that's pretty. My back piece is for... So we measured ours out, and um, that's where I'm going by. So this is going to be seven and three quarters. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to make this the top. So I'm going to have mine starting here. So my seven and three quarters will be... Somewhere on here. I'm gonna flip it. Gotta make more sense. Nah, where's Eileen? To yell at me. I know. Where's Eileen when you need her? She um I know she had a she's got she had an appointment or something this morning. She had an appointment, so what will we do without her? She keeps us in line, just saying. Well, she gives us so many good ideas. I mean, she's the one who came up with the pocket thing and helped with the cover. And yeah, she loves learning. She loves learning uh, new techniques. She and really sharing does. her ideas, too. She's a she wealth of information and very generous with sharing. I agree with. So I need this to be four and a half. So I'm going to have to, this is a little more complicated, but I don't want to keep that center image. I'm spinning it around so I don't whack off the, <laughs> the part I want. <laughs> Aren't I tricky? I know that was the hardest part, keeping the parts you want in the center for the next page. Okay. All right. That's going to go here. I think, since I really, really think it's so pretty, I think I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to do it like you did. I think I'm just going to glue, I'm going to glue this one on and not cover it up. And then, I don't know if I want to cover this up 
with two pockets or make one maybe i'll make one pocket for this i'll do that i'll mix it up and i'll just make one pocket for this page so most of it's showing oh helen just showed a cool book she put the link up it's called master disaster five ways to rescue desperate watercolors cool So Helen, is that do you work mostly in watercolors or acrylics? Yeah, good question. My pockets are five and a half by four. I'm sorry, five and eight, I can't get five and eight by four. Sorry. Okay. Hi, did you make the file looking divider if you did what did you use? I did not. Um, what was the question? Okay, Helen used to work in watercolors. Now she uses acrylics, but she couldn't resist the book after only a buck. I don't blame you. Especially the, if you've used them before. We bought the we bought the uh, the binder and the cane and the binder. Oh, look at the back. Such pretty paper. Uh, we bought the binder and then the uh, file folders came with the binder and oh, it's set as tab Judy was asking. Yeah. And it's a set and you get one set with it and the you bought two more sets. Now you could go to his website and you could just buy the file folder, the the refills, and and um, I can see my gut. You know, easy that. Um, you can go there and you can you can just buy the file folders and um, and, and not get the binder if you would like these. They're, they're or vice really, versa, you could get the binder and then make your own file folders. Once yeah, you're it, it's a it's a craft. Um, it's a it's a thicker craft. Yeah, you can see that this is really thin. It's in the, here in the book, but like more like collage paper. It's pretty thick. So I pre I bought it. I can give you the sizes. I can call, I can measure these and give you the sizes. I think a pack of these was about. Let me go look on the site. Three, I think about three dollars, four dollars. That sounds about right because I think Something I got like two in the binder for around twelve dollars plus shipping. I think. Yeah, so if you, yeah. If you buy the binder, it comes with one set. And like, yeah, it is only about twelve dollars. It's not expensive like you would think it would be. It's, Hold on, I'll get the. I'll go look after okay. I. It's priced pretty reasonable. All right. Okay, so, oh, here, Helen has the link right to Spellbinders. And I will get the link off of his site. It looks more brown than Manila. Okay, let's see. It is more brown than Manila. Yeah, I mean, because this is like a file folder. The file folder is Manila. It's definitely like this is like a. Um... Oh wow! These are only a dollar fifty for the refill pack. I'm gonna get a couple. Are they only dollar fifty? Yeah. Wow! Why did I only buy two? No, but this is on the Spellbinder site. The Spellbinder site are only dollar fifty. I think so. Wait. So. Oh, like these it's are Helen's link, whatever link she put up. This is the this like this um 
this one I have has craft paper in it, right? And so you can see this craft paper is lighter than the, the paper that's in here, right? Then you look at a vanilla folder. Well, my vanilla folder's got stuff on it. It's definitely lighter than that, right? Let me see. So it's, it's, it is in between. It's a little darker than even craft paper. Because this is more craft paper. Okay, this is the Spellbinder site. Okay. All right, I'm going to order a bunch. Oh, it's on sale, girls. $1.50 was $4.99, now $1.50. And the binder is only $4.50. If we paid $12, it is $4.50 now, people. Okay. Holy moly. If I go grab that link, if you don't buy today, buy another day. Grab the link and save it as your save it as your bookmark page. Okay, add a card. So you can go back and find it later. All right. So you can go back and find it later. Oops, sorry, I had to hear myself echo. <laughs> All right. And this is another reason why it's fun to, to uh, stream with somebody, because you can always go shop. <laughs> Heck yeah. Is on. Well, this is, we're saving them money, so this is cheaper than what we paid for ours. So. No, I mean, you can shop while you stream, Colleen. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here we go. Oh, should I get one or two? Binders or pages? Okay, pages, I got five at that price. And then I'll get two of the binders. Because I'll, I'll, these are great for projects. I like this binder. Oh, that one. I don't know if you heard that. That was my stomach growling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Judy's going to do is, um, Judy's going to use an old cookbook, she said. And then that's, that would work because the cookbooks have the pages very, yeah, cookbooks like that, uh, like pages like this. I'm sorry. I can't shop and talk. Um, Oh, thanks, Judy. You could totally use a cookbook. Actually, that's really smart. Oh, especially the, what is it, the Better Homes and Garden, the Red Plant Cookbook would be perfect. Yeah, that's wow. It was, yeah, it was, we paid 12 which was cheaper than they had it originally, and now it's 450 people. I can't believe that. Here we saved you money and we uh, we saved you money and we inspired you. <laughs> thank you. And I should say actually uh, we should thank uh, we should thank Helen. Eileen and Helen. Yeah, Eileen, we'll have to tell Eileen she wants to see more later since she's not here. Yeah, cookbooks would be great for this because they would have the tab divider. And you could uh, do a ton in that. And also they make, what, garden books. And there's some uh, sewing books. But, like, you get an old Betty Crocker. Yeah, Janet said she loves old cookbooks. And she was yeah. saying that she would, uh, that she would, uh, that she would like that idea, too. Um, I found a book at the library that has all these little like fold outs, which is pretty cool, like a sewing one, which is pretty awesome, I must say. And um, I used it as uh, flip outs on, um, I'm trying to think what I was using those on. I was, use, I was using them as flip outs. I'll show you guys. It's pretty cool. And I got the book for a buck. And it's fun to take, it's fun to take like a, uh, just like a normal little, like go on these old books and turn it into something else. It's a lot of fun. And um, I'll show you what one of them looks like. Let's 
Helen, thank you very much for finding this. Okay, I shake it. Ugh, I smushed my spellbinder book. Like these. Ah. Need that too. Hold on. Yeah, like gardening made easy. I found this giant book at the library sale. So you you know, this doesn't have the tab, right? But they fold they all fold out. And so you can just undo the open this up and pull them out, and then you'll have a little flip out. There's all kinds of fun other fun ways you can uh, make books with. Okay, Jar. It depends on what you're using the book for. I think Colleen and I, Eileen, we bought the binder. They came with one set, and then we added two two more sets of the file folders. So I think, you know, you could put more, you could do less. It just depends on what you, you're doing for the book. Yeah, you, yeah, it comes with one set. But I bought two additional sets for my the book you see now, and I have... Yeah, I have three. Right, you could keep one set in, it would be fine. You can add another set, two set, you could add five set. It just depends what you want to do. Yeah, the, uh, you think, she thinks the original one doesn't come with it. I don't think the spellbinders one. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. Said, oh, because Seth came with Seth came with a set, and she's saying that the spellbinders does not come with a set. Okay, so you want to buy at least one set with the the blank binder, and then you decide how many you want to put in, depending on what your project is. Correct. That was a good catch. I missed that. Does it, does it say that? I'm looking to see if I see that. I'm going to look again. Hold on. Yeah, I want to see because I want to make sure because if it doesn't come with it, then, um, you know. Yeah, it just says three ring binder. Okay. And Seth's came with, Seth's binder came with the divider. So that, yes. that is, there's a little difference on that one then. Let me look up his and see. Okay. Compare the prices. Now, when you place an order with them for the first time, you can actually, if you join their thing with your email, you actually get a code for a discount. Oh, nice. So you just give your email, send a code to your email, and then you get a discount for your first order on top of the sale. So good deal. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe not. Okay, it didn't work on these because they're already on sale, I think. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's okay. If you get, it must be a regular price item, is my guess. Let's see. So what's every, so uh, what's everyone else been working on? Is anyone working on any fun new projects? Are you making tags with this? Um, I know Kathy could also show um, the tag she got from Peggy. Yes, I have that out. As soon as I was just gonna finish this spray paint thing, but then I got, got distracted. Uh, <laughs> distracted shopping. <laughs> so let me finish with my spray paints because I got my pizza box out and I have Peggy's envelope of tags. Peggy is the queen of tags. 
That is what I'm calling her from now on. <laughs> the queen of tags. Okay, I'm gonna spritz one more. Okay, let's see. Need to get this down flat. Okay, so she care. Okay, so Cheryl said nine fifty total for hers. The so key went order. So did you get a book and three refills? Yeah, so that ain't bad. So she, yeah, a book and three refills for nine fifty. And when we bought these, um, we guys we didn't really know what we were gonna do with them. And no, we didn't. Why did we buy them? Because Eileen did. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Just a bunch of lemons following the crowd. <laughs> you know, uh, she bought what well, she found it, then we looked at it, and we're, you know, we're like, what do you use it for? She says, I don't know. I'm like, well, it's cheap. Let's get it. Let's try it. be fun. And so we just kind of saved it for, uh, we were kind of just, saving it for the perfect um, situation, so. Right, see, that's why it's, don't feel bad if you buy something, they're like, oh, I like that, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. If you like it, you'll use it. That's my, that's my opinion. Agree. All right, I'm gonna mute myself so I can dry this and then I can get to Peggy's tags. I'm liking that page she's doing. You're sitting in the truck waiting for Paul. So is he is he in Home Depot? <laughs> is he in Home Depot or someplace? I tell you what, like Home Depot and Lowe's, like is most guys like craft store things, right? To us. Yep, and she's at Home Depot waiting. So, so is he getting in? Is he doing anything? Is he doing anything fun? I like I like uh, I like home projects that um, I like home projects that are basically, you know, benefit me. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Oh, uh, like if he bet, I like when he's gonna go get like something, you you know, like uh, he's gonna make something. Then I get all excited, like, oh no, I'm selfish. I can't help it. Now I know you guys. They made Paul has a cool garage. Oh, he has an awesome garage, and he built a garage on their property, and he decorated it. And it's so cute. It looks like with like these black um, like seats, like it just retro cool. And and she and I thought it turned out so good where she decorated them. So after you cut your pocket, and your, my pockets are five and a half by four, then you go around and you do a half inch. See, or you know, crease. I'm um, using the scoreboard. And then what I learned last week or Tuesday is to cut this right where they come together at the crisscross. Cut that at an angle because I was making mine straight. Okay. 
and then fold it up. And that's gonna go here. Cheryl, you're Cheryl's in the swap, right? Um, I think so. I don't have my thing right in front of me. Oh, your potty shed being delivered today. Oh, cool. And oh, nice. Oh, so you get your own. You get a potty shed and he has a garage. Cool beans. Okay, here's something cool. Peggy used old x-rays from past surgeries for her Halloween journals. How what? cool is that? They gave them to you? I don't think they've ever given me x-rays. I think I'm never, I mean, I think I'm asking you're not allowed to, like, I've, they've given them me to them to take to another doctor. But then I have to give them to the other doctor and I never see them again. Well, that's interesting. Because I had to get, uh, like, um, yeah, x ray, uh, x rays. Um, they didn't wear x ray. Well, I got x rays in my hand. They didn't give them the, give me those. When I fractured my hand. And I definitely don't think they gave me any for my, when I had foot stuff either when I did the MRI and that. I kind of feel jit now. That would, have been, that would have been fun to have that to, to art. Oh, here we go. I have a stack of MRIs. It would be cool. Oh, wow. So on these pages, we did double pockets. So we're doing um, no bigger than a size four tag. This is a size four tag here. And so you can see uh, how big that fits. And then if anyone makes, um, if anyone makes smaller tags, then you can have double pockets and put them. And you still put the bigger tags in these too. It's just going to cover up a little bit of your second pocket if you decorate it. But but that fits really nice. Now, Kathy did some plain pages on the other side. So she could, um, and then po double pockets and then plain pockets on the other side. So really, it, it's up to you, however, yeah, so I'll show however you wish to, to work on that. Like, So let's make sure this is dry. Yeah. Okay, I'm picking another piece out of here. Yeah. That pretty one, that, that gray one. Let me hit this for a second. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, see, on this page, I just put a blank. A uh, blank piece of scrapbook paper, coordinating paper, and then I'm either going to maybe um, draw or doodle, or you could put another pocket on this side. You could take a clip and clip your more tags to it. Oh, then you make tags to, or you made um, you pop, you made your tags with this paper too. Yeah, what I did was. I took my paper, did my pockets, and then what I did, this to me, this was the fun part. I took all the leftover scraps and made tags. And then it just gives me good, I think this is the tag I'm going to do for the swap because I just like how that turned out. So unless I do another one or I may do a bunch of different ones, but I'm leaning towards this. We'll have to see, have to see how many butterflies I have or I'll do something similar. But yeah, I just took my leftover paper and made some fun tags, took out some, you know, doodads and stuff. And that was fun. It was fun using up some of my stuff. And then here's more of my, see, this is the paper here. I use this for the background, a little bit of washi tape decorate it with well, just some washi tape is all I added to this and then this one 
this was the back of actually this was a sheet with four ladies on it and i use, was able to use the back side of half of it and then i used this for the pockets and then all i did was add a little bit of lace and then here see here i just um clipped a tag over to this side these came from that book colleen showed you and then here were the all these three tags I made from the scraps of the leftover paper. So that was just two sheets of, what is that? Eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Made three tags, the pockets and a coat, you know, made all this. So fun. Hey, Jen. Jen is Azure, right? No, Azure's oh, Azure. Separate. Oh, I see you now. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you again. Who was she talking to? Tanya. She just popped in, right? Yeah. I didn't think you could ask for copies of your x rays. Oh, you haven't been here much. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. I like the way of art. It's so irritating. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> we talk about that. Like it's in the way of art. It's no fun. Here, I, this I did, yes, this I did last Tuesday on stream. That came from that book. This was one of the pages. And then I used these and then leftovers to make my tag. Hi, Sandy. Okay, so that is one. This is one set of binder fillers. This is what came with the set after one, the binder and one set. And then we've got two more sets to fill up. So that's going to be pretty full if I use both sets. So you may only need two. It just depends on how thick you make them. I agree. It depends on how many. Like right now, we have two sets of 12 in our swap. And so it all depends partly. It also depends partly on who wants to, how many, like if any more join or not. Now, yeah, if I get a few yeah. more, I might be able to do a whole nother set of 10, and then we'll have three groups of 10. Yeah, that uh, that would be, that's my hope, is that we get a few more people. Yeah, and that would be with putting Colleen and I in all three groups. So if I can get, yeah. I think it was six more, six more people, we'd be able to do three groups of 10. So we'll see. We have time. I mean, I'll take. I'll you know, just email me. Okay. So now, this is what I got in the mail the other day. First, let me wipe these because if you don't wipe them, they it does screw them up the next time for the next time you use them. I lost my cheat sheet. Where did it go? I got my cheat sheet with my measurements. Now I have to go off of memory. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay. What are you making now, Colleen? I'm digging for my I'm digging for my cheat sheet. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. My cheat sheet with my measurements. I'm freaking out here. Because I know I remember it's five and a half by four for the pocket. I forgot what the background paper is. Is it seven? Seven. Oh wait, five. Okay, it just see it depends. Okay, five and a half by four, so four and a half, four and a half by eight. Colleen, four and a half by eight was this? Was the for if you're gluing it straight onto the board? Oh, if you're doing it without a pocket, it's four and a half by eight. No, with a pocket. I thought I did mine smaller. Okay, I'll do. Okay. I thought it okay, it has to be four and a half. If it's five and a half wide, it has to be four and a half if you want it to go to the edge. Remember, we I did them all different ways. Yeah, you you make yeah you did, well yeah you did do yours all different ways. Okay, so if your your background it's four and a half wide, and then you decide the one we started with Eileen was four by seven, and then. I went bigger to four and a half by eight, so it would fill most of the page. Oh, I found it. Okay, good. Hey, good. I don't want I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to take a photo of it with my phone. Oh, that's a good idea. 
So I have it. If I lose this again, I have it on my phone. Okay. Good. I need to do that with grocery lists too. Oh, yeah. Then you don't have to redo them all the time. <laughs> okay. Let me put these away. All righty. This is all dry. So Sarah wants to know about the swap. There, yeah, we're making they we're making twelve tags, and they're due on September eighteenth. One month, yeah. Well, one month when we started, and then you do black and white with one pop of color, and the largest would be a size four tag at largest. It, it could be smaller, but we don't want any bigger than this. And this is a four tag, which is, uh, and I forget this, I'm trying, but it's a six and a half by three and a quarter. So that would be the largest tag we'd want. So are you thinking about doing the, the swap, Cheryl? Because if you are, I will I will try and get a few more people. We can add another group. Yeah, because I think Di, Happy Die was thinking about, um, she was asking about it. So I think she might, she might be interested. Because I think if we get four, if we got four more people, we could do... Um, we could actually do three groups of 10 and that would put you and I in all the groups, Colleen, and then eight other people. So if I can, I mean, we, I can, if we can get four more people, we can definitely do a third group. That's why I'm not breaking people up into groups right now. I want to see if we can get a third group. more the merrier yeah keeping it simple there's no theme we're just doing a color thing of, of black and white and um and black and white with a pop of color so no matter what people decorate their colors with or their pockets with it will still look good so helen go ahead and put my um my email in so if cheryl or anybody else is seriously thinking about doing the swap i'll have an idea and then i can i'll actively look for people are you, okay are you talking about my folder what i used on my folder on my folder i actually use this paper Oh, she might be talking about, or did you use a Stamparilla one? This one, I think, is the Imagined. Okay, maybe that was what she's talking about. This one, I think it was the Imagine. Actually, to tell you the truth, I just had two pieces of paper. I had these two piece of, pieces of paper and a pile of scrapbook paper, and I use them. If I had to guess, I think it's Imagine. But don't, I mean, you'll need to double check. Oh, I think we're getting some more people in. Yay! Looks like maybe Janet Nash. Oh, that'd be awesome, Janet. People be getting that. They'd be getting them from her. Uh, Aus is she in Australia or Britain? England, I think. Huh? I think is she England? England. She's England, right? Yeah. Yeah. So how cool will that be? Yeah, that'll be fun. That'd be neat. We get it because she would have stuff that we don't have. Right. I know peer pressure's working. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Nancy. I, and that was what this one was. It was Imagine. I love that paper pad. I've used that on a lot of different projects. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Here's what I got in the mail. So this should tempt some people to be in the swap. Look at all this yumminess. Oh my Look at this yumminess. Who wouldn't want one of these tags? And so far, every, okay, so Janet's going to, 
Okay, I'll put Janet down. Let me make a note so I don't forget. So we got Janet. So Cheryl, let me know if you want to join because I've got a I've got the start of another group. So three more people. Okay. So everybody in the swap will be getting one of these beautiful cards. And see, she used the black and white with a pop of color. I'm just going to go through and show all of these to give you ladies inspiration. These are so cute. I love the pink typewriter. Okay, Jen's. Okay, Jen's in. Yes, I, I'll put you in. Send me your information, Jen. This will be the best thing to get you out of the funk. And now that you've got a month to do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that with the paintbrush. I love this. Everyone, I looked at these the other day and everyone, I'm like, oh no, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Of all the ones you sent, I can't figure that out. Um, look at this matchbooks, match, matchbook covers she used for the little tops. What a cute idea. Pops of red. These are great. Here's a little, little uh, embroidered flower. One thing leads to another. I thought that was cool. A fair face may fade, but a beautiful soul lasts forever. Even it was just fun going through and reading all the quotes, looking at all the detail. Here she just put a little bit of ribbon at the top. And this is <sighs> polka dot acetate. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, here's a fun one. See, look at these are more matchbook covers with little bits, a little bit of money, a check. These are so cool. Ticket on the top and then more. So this was, she took everything she could find in this pretty blue and added it to the tag. Okay, here's one with the pop of yellow. These are so cute. And you have like a big shot. You have a die cutter, right, Peggy? I know she does because she sent me one of her old dies that didn't work. This one, another pop of yellow. And these, I know, these are just fun to make. Once you get started on these, you just, I can see why you made so many at once. They're just fun. And I think, too, you can make them all the same or you can make them different. Oh, we've got some noise going on. Oh, look at the bird. Look at the parrot. I love it. That's her pop of green. Aren't these great, Dar? This one has some orange and gold. See, this is it. That's all the little dots of orange here that she put in. Uh oh, I think somebody's at my door. Hopefully he'll stop. Oh, here, these are cute. Ah, uh, here we go. This one goes on this side. Ah, here we go. I figured it out. Look at this little butterfly. And then she's got the fringy thing here and then the tag on the other side. These are so, oh, I thought that was like lace. This is corrugate. This is just a piece of corrugate. That's really cool. Hey, Joan, I didn't see you come in. A city is a large community where people are lonesome together. Isn't that can be the truth? I grew up in Chicago. Uh, be kind to somebody. Pass it on. That's really, these are so cute. Be the change you wish to see in the world. I know. I find myself really, like, noticing, you know, these just little, little thoughtful quotes and just different songs. And you really listen to them and... 
I just I think that we think that then, so like, you really listen to the message. These are really, these are awesome. Oh, Deborah, you'd like to join in on the swap? Send me, send me your, send me an email and I'll add you. That would be great. I love when people that usually watch but aren't active in chat when they like to take participate in some of the projects and that. Don't feel like if you just watch and don't chat that you can't join in. It's open to everybody. These guys are cute. Okay. Seize the day. Put on your power suit and seize the day. Oh, look at this cute little, cute little envelope. And then the little, you could write a little note on here. These are awesome, Peggy. I'd love to, I'd love to cry. I'd love to art with Peggy. I think Peggy would be fun to art with in person. Oh, I know. Wouldn't it? I, I would too. Fools and scissors required good handling. <laughs> That's a good one. Our timeless moments. And just a little, oh, this is another one with the, with the acetate. That's cute. Looks like little fishies. See, little ATCs in the pockets. Oh, good, Deborah. Deborah's really excited. She loves making tags. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're going to join. Okay, good. Look on Tuesdays, and then I promise I will get an email out to everybody today. I had a couple things come up, so I wasn't able to get the email out. But I will send all the details, and then hopefully, hopefully we'll have at least four, and then I can work, I think, with one larger group, because there are people that send, they would, said they would do more than 10, so... So, but if we get at least four, we can get everybody in. Oh, this one I thought was cool. The little top of the can with the little heart. And this one comes out. God, great inspiration, Peggy. I and how well that didn't take her any time at all to make those either no she had them all cut out i think what did she was watching she's like oh i've got 28 tags cut out that was before we ended the show like, when we mentioned we were going to do it and then we waited a week to make it official just to let people think about it and i think she had mailed them she must have mailed them that day or the day before it was official i want to be pegging that girl up <laughs> Aren't these nice, Colleen? And then I was thinking, too, because everybody will get one. I'll have a few left over. I might do, I mean, I'd love to keep all of them for myself. That would be selfish. But I was thinking maybe making some of those tag pockets and send them to care for Defy oh. to put in her bags, like to put in her goodie bags or something. Yeah, for the people that... The go to uh i keep the thing every month right right for the heart or to give to the artists or just to do something with but the i love these and then i'm saving my favorite one for last which is kind of funny because i don't sew but mm. i love the idea with the with the um the matchbook covers Look at this, just little, and this is a good way to use up stuff that you have. Just added a little color here. Aww. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I love that. Aren't they, Cheryl? They're beautiful. Oh, this is pretty. One generation plants the trees, another gets the shade. She said once she's on a project, she is driven. I know. It's fun. It's I love when I <laughs> like you start something and you really get into it. Oh, what a cute idea. It's like a little holder. Did you see this, Colleen? 
Oh my god! Isn't that cute? How many? How how That's many old negatives does act. everybody have? Freaking X-ray! It's the negatives. Remember negatives from the pictures? I know, but oh yeah, I see what you're saying. It looks like an X-ray with the color. I, that is so cool. Oh my! I'm god. totally stealing that. Oh, it's a flashcard. It's a flashcard. I didn't even notice that. I was so intrigued with the other side. I am, cool. My mind is blown. Seriously? Made special for you. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Just cute. Upper body walking. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your story. Oh, here, these go together. The top and the bottom. <laughs> no, they could. It's like this is oh. a shirt and that's the dress. I don't believe anything you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Colleen. Uh, the cat with the bird. I love this. One Did touch of nature makes you, makes the whole world kin. William Shakespeare. Love that quote. Little envelope with more little little tags inside. Oh man, Peggy, you've inspired so many people. I know, fearless. Be fearless, make a tag. Gorgeous. I'm excited about having everybody's art. I know, I love, I love when you see other people's I art. I love the little talk. I, I know like all the little to tucks. Learn, and, I gotta learn the tuck thing. I really like how that works, and I don't really do that. And I okay, really so like that. This was my favorite one, the sewing one with the little charm with the thread. Oh, button on here. There's a okay, sewing okay. machine stamp, <laughs> lace, and the back little sewing machine, top of a thread, some lace, some scissors. Just I love a little that little sewing machine pen on there. Isn't that great? I love that. Okay, wow. so that's it. Oh. Is that all you couldn't have made any more? <laughs> okay, so Helen said Anne says she's glad you shown the tags because she thought the tags would be had more black and white. No, it's the black and white is your base and then a pop of color. So it's where it's just really loose. That's why they don't all have to be the same. Your pop of color doesn't all have to be the same. And you can use more than one pop of color. Oh, the yeah. tag is black and white. Yeah, and use your mediums. You can use paint, texture, paste, all that. You sure can, Jen. Okay, okay. what I'm going to do, because Peggy did not sign and date the, pad, the tags, I will, I'm going to attach her name. But um, I do encourage, please, uh, that will be in the information that I send you. Make sure your name and your date is on the is on one side of the tag so everybody knows where they come from. And I will just, I'm going to print off. Peggy Pan was there out after doing all, there are all those tags, so. <laughs> What'd you say, Colleen? I said Peggy's hand was wore out to sign all those. Oh, <laughs> I am happy to attach a clip with Peggy's name. <laughs> right? Yeah. Peggy inspired everybody. <laughs> oh, Peggy, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, I'm going to clip it on there for you, so no problem. But yes, yeah, sign and date the backs. That will all be in the email with the with all the details. Has idea, uh, has some ideas now because Ann didn't know she could it would be like this. Yeah, yeah Ann. Are you joining Ann? And did you write down Deborah? Um, oh, I got to write down her name. Deborah Dieter, D-E-T-T-O-R. Okay, so we need at least one more. I can take more than four, but I need at least one Cheryl's more. Cheryl's already in it, correct? Ann is in it? Cheryl. Is she, Cheryl, are you going to do it? She bought the book. That's why I'm asking if she's doing it or she just wanted the book. Okay. Jen's going to send you an email and rewatch it. Okay, good. Um, Jen, Janet, Deborah, I have added.
So we'll have this will work out. I'm sure we'll get you, we'll have another group. I I know we will. So okay, I can't wait to see your potting shed. I know, uh, Kimberly. Take pictures. pictures. We're nosy. I want to see your potting shed get down. I'm so excited for you. Okay, can you pop in your email again? Yeah, hold on. Right over here. There we go. Thanks, okay, Cheryl. Okay, put Cheryl on a question mark because she said she's thinking about it. Okay, well, let me know as soon as you decide, Cheryl. It'll be fun. Just put a question mark and then that way. She, uh, we'll kind of, we can, we can bug her again later. It's, it's fun. You'll enjoy it. It's fun to do swaps. I mean, 10 to do 12 tags. We get another group of 10 because Kathy and I are going to do them for everybody's group. Um, to do 10 tags, it will, it will take long. She just got, she was going to do the 20 group. We had a 20 group and we didn't get enough people to do the 20 group. And that's what Peggy was doing. Yeah. And then so um, everybody's going to be get bit because like now if we get another 10, well, three groups of 10. Everybody's going to get a, a 10 well, from Peggy. Technically three groups of 12. I mean, that's the right. It'll be three groups of 10 or 12. I'm, 12. I'm hoping to get it to three groups of 10. Including us, it'd be great, three groups of 12. And that's 36. And she made 40 tags of everybody if we will get a Peggy tag. Yeah. Not Thank you like so much, specific, Peggy. Not just a specific group where you're only going to get 10 back. Everyone else is actually, they're going to get two. They're going to get one, one from Peggy and then one from whoever else. Right. That's okay, Cheryl. And what I might do like in the next couple of weeks, I might come on sometime and do an impromptu where I just make tags. If anybody wants to play along. You could do that today if you want to, unless you want to work on your folders. It doesn't matter to me what you do. No, I've got other stuff I want to work on. Okay. I'd, rather, I'd like to just come on, do an impromptu, just do some tags, maybe get some people to play along with and, okay. and all that. So, but I do want to. good. Um, what was I going to do? Work on either pockets, my folders. I'm I might order next. I just wanted to um, talk about the swap and do a couple pockets so everybody could see it and uh, see what we're working on. So these I did double pocket, double pocket, and then I just did two single pockets. Oh, I like it. Oh, see, you can make it however you want. We just gave you the basics of the pockets. And then you could do like this one to punch it better. And you could put these some of these in between on your spiral. I like that. And then, but you could also do that too, you know, to mix it up. Because let's say you make your own tag, you take a tag later on yourself and you went and you made a bigger tag, you could add your uh, own tags in there and make a bigger one and put it, you know, to fit the three spirals. Because I know Ranger makes some giant tags. There's Peggy's tag in my folder. I love it. Or I could clip it over here. No, I'm going to keep it in the pocket. It's in the pocket. And see, Colleen, how hers, this is probably the, the thickest tag I got. It's got that button, which is a good quarter inch thick. It fits, it fits fine in the pocket. Because we we're kind of worried if they got too thick, but try, you know, keep them. All the rest of them are on the thinner side, but okay. the pockets will take a few, uh, few trinkets on them. Kathy will email when you email her. She can email you the details, so about the postage and stuff. So all that good stuff, and you'll have it on your email. Hey, okay. Peggy, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to photocopy this and print it off, and then just attach this to the to your tag. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Two of them on her tag, all her tag. Yeah, like I'll, I'll, I'll do this on cardstock and just put it on your tag. That's sweet. That'll work. I love it. That's really nice. 
perfect. It is perfect. Okay, so I'll put these away so they don't get. No, I'm going to keep my, I'm going to put in my pocket my size. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> so I don't get all frantic trying to find it again later. Oh, I love how the flower pot sticks out of the pocket. Isn't that cute? Yeah. yeah. That was that's like, adorable. Oh. So then these are thinner papers. These are thicker papers. These are, uh, oh, I've got the punch with circles. Oh, Eileen would have yelled at me. Oh, Eileen, see why we need you here? <sighs> Don't forget Darn the it. circles. <laughs> Darn it. I don't know if I can pull this up or not. Well, can you, you might be able to fit it in there, Colleen. I might have to just, I might have to uh, have no pot. Uh, let me think. I need to slide something in and try to cut it. Lord, oh, you know what? Lordy. Hey, maybe on that one, just put a piece of washi tape or lace straight across. Yeah. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, punch a hole in your pocket so it looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a half a circle before you glue it down. Don't do as I just did. Yeah, yeah don't. We won't tell been, Eileen. She would have been. Uh, she would have yelled at me and reminded me to do that. That's why I need her. <laughs> She would, have, she would have told me to punch the holes. I just realized that. Okay. Yeah, just take some lace or a uh, uh, washi yeah, tape. This one's been down across. too long. It's stuck good, and I'll tear it if I pull it up. Yeah, no, this just one I can probably pull it. back up, but the other I don't think I can pull back up. I don't want, I don't know, I'm trying not to tear it. Oh, frustrated. I did that. And my punch is way too fat. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. Now, just tell her you covered up the hole. <laughs> you wanted it to go straight across. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. I did okay, that. So here, I'll show you yeah. guys this real quick. This turned out pretty good. This is just, um, I used that, that the flowers is masks and stencils from the paper lovers book. Just on a, this is an art journal page that has like leftover paint and stuff on it. So I just, I've got the start of a uh, good journal page here, which I think I will leave that open because it's summery and I like the colors. So yeah, I'll work on this. Do something with that. Oh, here, maybe I might work on this now. Let me get my Costco's out. Here we go. Oh, I had some ribbons. We'll go hide the fact that I forgot my circle. <laughs> Cheryl said, sign me up. I'll put you down, Cheryl. Send me um, send me an email so I can send back the information to you. Yay! It'll be fun. Yay! It's only twelve tags, and you'll get an extra one because uh, you'll get one from everyone's gonna get one from Peggy. Right. Forty. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, thank you, Peggy. Everyone's gonna get one of hers in addition to the addition to ones from the other people. So. Okay. All right, so I'm use my Poscas. Shake up your Poscas after they've been sitting for a while. Wow, I'm excited. So how many? Uh, how many would we like to have? <sighs> okay, we've got it. We've got at least another enough for another group of ten. If more people want to to join in, I can make it work. Okay. So if you watch the recording, try to leave me a message. Or you can go over to Kathy's channel and leave a message on Tuesday's video where we talked about this and leave a message there. Either way, one of us will see it. Yeah. Oh, I need to go over and check from Tuesday. I haven't done that yet. Okay. You can put your email on your on um, YouTube. 
at least for for now and then uh for the swap so anyone could just email you if they could if it was yeah. in the description well and you know what i think i am going to put my email and i will put my uh, uh instagram account and um because uh, I have that Gmail account, I decided I'm, that's going to be my account for art. I think that's a great idea to have a separate one. Because I get so much junk mail, you guys, in my in my regular email. I miss stuff, so I have this will be set up separate for everything art. Hi, Jane. I never seen it spelled that way. J a y n e. That's a neat spelling. Hi, Jane. Welcome. Zoom I in. saw Jane, I think, yesterday at a stream. I can't remember. Thank you for coming here. All right. There you go. Zoomed in so we can keep our screens like this. So you can see what I'm doing. So I get the. All right. I was going to add. Let's try to make these two match. I'm going to add some ribbon. Okay, there may be a little noise in the background. My husband's working from home and he might be on a conference call. So hopefully, hopefully it's not too loud. If it is, I can go up and shut the door. All right, so I got those. Now I need something else on my pockets. All right, let's see. The pockets are naked and I don't like it. I need oh, naked pockets. Else. Yeah, I need something. Let's see. I don't like him plain. That's just not me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Let's see. I want to play a bit with this. that one this is still from the same book i used the papers i did add my own uh lace and i add some these there's eileen how was your morning oh glad you're here eileen look what i forgot to do <laughs> i forgot to punch my hole because you already are yelling at me i forgot to punch my half a circle <laughs> i can't just can't do it all, apparently. We have some more people joining our tag swap, Eileen. Which is awesome. Thank you guys so it. much. This is going to be fun. It is. The more the merrier. It's fun to, it's fun to, to exchange to be part of something. And, and when you get those in the mail, you're going to be so excited to get the, that happy mail of tags when you receive them. You'll be so glad. And it's just inspiring seeing other people's work. Well, let's see. Put this back down. It was great, and you got some toe pole cleaner. Woo woo! Toe pole cleaner. Oh, <laughs> that's always important. It's always important. Toilet bowl paper and toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> you know, I still can't believe they're selling out of to toilet paper. Toilet paper is still hard to find. It's not impossible, but it's challenging to say the least. And that's everybody's just cleaner. Hey, I found Oreos uh, the other day at the store. I was so excited they had double sup Oreos again. <laughs> I couldn't find any and I'd get tall wafer cookies. <laughs> He'll eat them, but they're not his favorite. It's not and the same. They only had the icky chocolate ones. They didn't have the vanillas and they had double stuff Oreos. And I was like, yes. So I came home with three packs. Tom was happy. <laughs> 
Oh, Eileen said she saw a great site with awesome tags. Cool. Ones that are already made. And oh, we like Kathy see Judy Ogre. Judy Ogre. I oh, see sorry. Judy Ogre. Is she gonna join the joining? Let's see. I hope so. Yay, I think she is. Let me go back. <laughs> oh, no, it's not too late. You can join in, Judy, and then we're doing, yeah, you just need to do 12 tags. Okay, good. Do it for me and Kathy and then 10 others. Yay. That's fantastic. Now we can get someone else. All oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, we can. I'll take, I mean, if people keep coming, I'll make it work because there are a few people that will make more tags. We can have one larger group. Um. Thank you, Judy, for joining. This is going to be so fun. fun. And so you're going to love it. When they show up in your mailbox, you're going to be so excited. I love Happy Mail. And it's just, I mean, because, you know, and it'd be to me and Kathy. Well, because I'm going to cheat. So I'm going to ask to see him. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to see him. But you guys would be totally surprised, right, when they show up. And then what we'll do is after we mail them, we could show them. Yes. Yeah. Like we mail them and then I'm not going to show them until they get mail. Until yeah. they mail them. Until it gets theirs, then we'll then we'll show them to everybody else who uh, who did participate, but would still like to see the, the tags everyone did. That way, everyone will be surprised. We could be really bad and not show anybody and just have it for the people that were in it, and then more people uh, would join. That's a good point. <laughs> you could have it be a secret. It could be our <laughs> No, we're not mean. I wouldn't do that. Thank you, Hal, for putting in her email. All right. Let's see. Going, she's going to use old catalog for your inspiration and making notes now watching awesome yeah there was a lot of cool ideas that uh that i saw in peggy's oh i know just look through that for inspiration dan and nash is joining guys so that's exciting because she lives in other countries that is exciting when you get people from other countries you know they're gonna have stuff that we don't have and to me that's exciting these are cards aren't these cute these was in that paper book look at these cute little cards oh i know i saw those i wanted to pull those out because i'm always looking for like a little note card to use yeah has the envelopes and the cards in there it's a cute little it's a cute little simple watercolor with mark making and flowers oh these are in that pack gosh these are cute hold on i've got to shut this door if i can i'll be right back okay <laughs> I gotta finish. I need to put something else in my pocket. Still naked. I need like a stamp or something. Through my stamps or something to put on my pocket. One of them says, Families are like fudge, mostly sweet, and you have a few nuts. 
Okay, you know what? If anybody has any special requests, put them in the email you send them to me. And then if I will try my best to, to, um, to, I'm sure I'll be able to do your request, but just put them in the email because I don't want to start saying, yes, I'll do it. And then I forget any special requests. Put them in the email. If I can't do it, I'll let you know. Buy some fish on the catalogs from the early 1900s. Cool beans. Hi, Suzanne. <laughs> Make some MP for the card. No! No. Oh, uh, you will be. Um, no peak. Oh, no worries, Jen. No worries. <laughs> I, just no, I just don't want to forget. I don't want to say I'll do it and then because I'm, I forgot to write it down or something. So just send any requests in in your email to me. But no problem. No problem. Uh, this work is too big. I'm hunting people. I'm hunting for this for a cute stamp. And I got eight trillion stamps. I'm trying to find the right one. Ugh. Uh oh, this could be a while, guys. We know how many stamps she has. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll see you. In a, I'll see you in a week. Okay, <laughs> how many tags? It's um twelve tags. No bigger than a size eight, which is uh, three and an eighth by six and a quarter. Okay. So any size up to a size eight, which is three and an eighth by six and a quarter. No bigger than that. And and you have to get get them to Kathy by September eighteenth. September eighteenth. Yeah. And people that are sending from from overseas, just get them out as quick as you can. That's the only thing I ask is try to get them out as quick as you can. Oh, so you got a inherited a catalog for your great grandmother. How cool is that? Ooh. In the 1900s, and she's going to use this on her tag studios. Ooh, nice! I love, I love all the vintage. Such so many, everybody. I love, I love seeing everyone's ideas. Oh, here we go. I'm looking for this. <laughs> and make sure this stands really well. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I love this one. Look, I love this one. It's a little chicken. Oh, I do like that. It's, it's like the peacock. Yeah, I love, I'm sorry, chicken peacock. And look, he's got a little pocket and overalls. And then for his feathers, there's pens and brushes. And brushes, scissors. Oh, my, <laughs> that's adorable. Where did you get that? I love this stamp. Is that in that book? No, Eileen, she gave me, she had me buy these. These are by uh, Studio Light. Oh, those are the stamps. Oh, that's perfect. By Shirley Cohen. And I got these at Joggles. And I these are the cutest stamps. There's one other set that I didn't buy and they, they ran out of. And I was, she's like, I told you to buy them. I'm like, you did. Uh, but anyway, I got these, and these are totally cute. Like, we were looking at these, or I think we we're at Joggles. I love these. Yeah, the Studio Light. See, this one is a close up. So, there's this one. Look, she's knitting. She's knitting an egg. The chicken's knitting an egg. That's why I said chicken before. The chicken's knitting an egg. On this oh, those one. are adorable. And then this one is, you can see, it's a pin cushion, but it's a, um, oh, what is that animal? The, the rolls up, uh, shoot. A uh, hedgehog? Hedgehog. 
the hedgehog like pink cushion. Oh chicken knitting. <laughs> oh my god, I'm glad I wasn't around that day. I would have bought all those. <laughs> right? I know. Those are adorable. I like the chicken is knitting an egg. <laughs> There's a stamp name on the back. So stamps F H C O four. And I here it says and she's on Instagram as looks like cut and paste Shirley. Oh, she might be on YouTube. It looks like Studio Light Movies. She's on Facebook too. Wow. Why don't I not follow her? Studio Light Crafts. She's on Instagram too. Cut paste Shirley. I don't see names. I don't the place that I can find. But uh, it does say stamps S H C O four. So if you that might help for the search. Or do Studio Light Shirley Cohen. And I know I'm probably saying that wrong. And you got those at Joggles. Another place those she might be is uh top flight stamps. Yeah, I think Studio Light could be ever frantic stamper, maybe. They, oh, they, yeah. they might have it. Um, oh, good. Helen found them over on Joggles. Okay. Aren't they adorable, Jane? I just love these. I was just like a chicken who's knitting an egg. I need this kind of imagination. <laughs> I need this in my life. Okay. Why can't I think of these things? <laughs> Jen says she needs this. They are super cute. They I are. Just, I want to know. You know, when you do think of them, um, where do you? What do you do? <laughs> where do you bring them? You know, yeah, what inspired you to do a chicken knitting an egg, a hedgehog pink cushion, and a peacock with a, wearing a, a denim apron with all his art supplies for feathers? I love it. Love it. There we go. A stamp really nice, too. That stamp really nice. I just got colored in. I saw a cute, um, someone posted on Twitter I follow, she used the Studio Light uh, Art by Marlene's, the new ones, and she did a really cute background and then did the houses, and I love how she did the houses because she like did them on a separate piece of watercolor paper and then add them on top of her background, not to show you the picture, it just, it, oh, it, yeah, I'd love to see it. It was so, I thought it turned out so cute. And then she had the pop of houses on it. And I thought that that was really neat. Let's see. They are amazing with the links and we really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much for getting those up. Yeah. Let's see. Suzanne has a new toy. It's called The Works by We Are Memory Keepers. It does everything. I mean, oh. what is that? It's called The Works. I'll have to look it up. Eileen, have you heard of that? She usually is up on more things than I am. Called the works. I have not heard of that. 
I love what you're doing with the flowers from the paper pack. I know. I just I sprayed I them, and then I outlined them. And yeah, I mean, see, this is the way I love to art. I'm just like, you know, like you showed the, you were showing your paper and it was just kind of, oh yeah, let's spray it and then just see where it goes. And then I'll need some kind of cool, I think I'll make, find some kind of cool collage image to use as a focal point. Let me go through, you know what? I'm gonna go through some calendars and see if I can find an image to put on here. And you've just a layer after layer like you're doing, you're tracing them, spraying them, tracing them, spraying yeah. them. Yeah, it started out like this. It had a little bit more paint than this. And then I just, I used the masks, I used the stencils. I came back, I traced them, all different. I used different um, Dina Wakely acrylic sprays just kind of lightly layered it. And now I'm gonna go through and look for some kind of collage image and a quote, I think. I lean you and your pissy pink. Oh my gosh, am I gonna, I think I'm gonna hit, you know what? I think I'll put all you ladies in one group and send you all pink tags. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I think what I meant to is anybody who doesn't like pink will go in one group. <laughs> I'll send it in a pink envelope. Yes. <laughs> I'm just visualizing that. And <laughs> I only getting, getting things. Every tag, hot pink, bright pink, soft pink, baby pink. <laughs> getting <these in> <laughs> Pink rainbow. <laughs> yeah, throw in a few flamingos for Eileen too. Oh yeah, throw in some flamingos. Yeah, we'll throw in some flamingos for her because you know nothing is complete with pink and some flamingos, right? <laughs> yeah, I tore out some flamingos. I was going through collage images for my folder. I um. Uh, I pulled out some flamingos. Just I'm like, you know, these might come in handy. This might come in handy. I know somebody who would love to get these in the mail. I just do. I know the perfect person to send these to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. I'm just grabbing some off the wall. I'm just grabbing a bunch of calendars. <laughs> hey, Colleen, does it need a goat? I think it needs, yeah. <laughs> I think it needs a goat. Aha, answers, what a first birthday. It has a full mango on it. Oh. Oh no! Now who gets that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ordered. Tanya ordered the works too. Should be here. Oh my gosh! I feel so out of loop. I usually know all. I mean, I have it, but I will know about the new stuff. I have to see this. Okay, I've got to. Uh... Because now Tanya has it too. Tanya, you got some. You got some awesome stuff the other day. With, um, some she got her the big art tote and a purse. All kinds of good stuff from Johnny. Now, what's it called? Um, it's called the Works by We Are Memory Keepers. Okay. All right. I know. Now I have to go see it because I will. Um, I'll put it so you can put it up and then look at it. Oh, perfect! Yeah. Everybody can see it. Works cool, but we are memory keepers. It sounds very cool. Especially if more than one person's ordering it. It's got to be cool. Half, what's up? Just got that. 
Oh, hold on. Oh, I you posted the link for the word for Eileen. Okay. You like it? Oh, looks good. I just need to get it. I just need to get back in the shop. There you go. Okay, grab it. Now I got grab I got open the YouTube so I can grab it. I hate that I can't grab links on Studio Art. Yeah, I'll stick it down, turn around and see the back. Grab it, mute myself here. Like to the end of summer, and said you'll have the wand like here in the back. Hold on, I'll give you one second. Okay, cool. Looks good. You like it? Okay, good. I'm muted. Okay, let me grab that. Oh, yeah, I got such a chance to see like surprise. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This thing does everything. Oh. All right, see ya. Where are you going? No, I'm going upstairs. Oh, okay. Hey, can you shut the door? Cause Dan's on the phone. Okay, let me see if I can add this to their screen. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let me find, we are memory keepers, all in one tool. Okay. All right, so let me go over that work. Oh, did you find it? Oh, you got it, Kelly. Oh, I got it. The work, people. I never Yay. get to see it. Does everyone see that? Let's see. Let me, let me scroll. Let's see if I scroll over here, if it will move over there. Does it move when I scroll? Yep. Okay. And I'll make this a little bigger, too. So we can all see it, because that was really small. Ah! That didn't work. There we go. Okay, so it looks like it is a trimmer and a scoreboard combined instead of two different ones. Envelopes. All the things you do with scoreboards. Oh, you can make you can make tabs with it, like recipe tabs. Oh, okay. cool. Hey, Helen, look up at the craft corner, has it for 45. Amazon is 51. Uh, craft corner has it for 45. Castle maker, pom poms, tags. You can make tags with it. Uh, banners, stamp tool, bow maker, and there's a video for it. There you go. There's a whole video and everything. You can go down here to the website and you can look at the video. It shows you how to work it. Oh, my oh, God. If you go to We Are Memory Keepers on YouTube, that's probably where this video is at. Wow. We Are Memory Keepers is $79. Ooh. Yeah, 51 at Amazon. <laughs> For the that, craft corner. That's expensive. Okay, hold on. Amazon, you get free shipping. Uh, it has been around. It's pre-pandemic. <laughs> well, that's... Yeah, I don't know what you would do with the pom poms either, but it is it is interesting though. I'm not exactly sure what you would do with the pom poms either. I guess if you had young kids, you could do that maybe for their hair or something. I don't know. As an adult, I don't know what I would do with pom poms. I would agree with Eileen. Put them on the end of a dangle. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what you would do with the pom poms. I had pom poms on my roller skates, which was fun. Yes. <laughs> Remember that? Oh my gosh, that was so cool with my pom poms flopping around on my roller skates. That was a cool chick, man. Just saying. So. Okay, always fun stuff. This is fun to do. I won't finish the. I won't finish this out on stream because it's. I don't want to bore everybody. But I'm just going to work. A, I'll show you the peacock here in a second. Oh, let's go to the folder. So I decided to just do some watercolor pencils, and then I can go back in with a pen. 
and I can fill in the areas that I'm losing, put them back in. But who is that? Oh, he's yeah. cute. See, I did him like a purple, his body a little purple, and then like a little, I mean, I have to do a little, I'm going to have to go a little bit on his uh, skin. All right. There. Just colored in. Stripper pom poms. Oh my God, Eileen. <laughs> You know, you could use colored pencils. You could use your markers. You do whatever you want. It's your it's your peacock. Um, <laughs> Colleen, Eileen wants to know if your Elizabeth Crafts order shipped yet. It shipped the same day as yours, Eileen. They are speedy. They are so speedy. I have not received it yet, though. Now, what did you guys order from there? I'm hoping it comes today. We ordered the Summer Journal Special which had a bunch of dyes and stencil to put in our little mini um, journal. And it has like a uh, cute little palm trees. Oh, and it, has a, and it has a hippie bus. Oh, that's right. That's right. You got those. It has the hippie bus. Who doesn't need a hippie bus in their life? And yeah, it has a hippie bus, which I'm like, psyched about okay i am not i repeat a professional colorist i just like i teeter around in color i like to to just use them on my, my stamps and stuff so don't judge me <laughs> I love coloring on the stamps it's kind of relaxing because it it's not too much to color in your stamp so there you go so, so you, you know, I just got my, and I'll fill them in. I'll have to, like this, I'll probably use some gel pens because it's really teeny. So I'll probably use some gel pens on these guys. Fill them in. But how fun is this? These are my colored pencils that live in my pretty case. I have all these pretty color pencils that's sitting here. We as well use them. These I bought because of um, Lena. She, oh, bought, some. she bought these for her mother-in-law. And then her oh, mother-in-law. Which, which ones are those, Colleen? Her mother-in-law didn't want them. And she says, I sadly have to keep them. He <laughs> he. These are uh these are Faber Castells. Oh, nice. From Germany. Oh, the there. Alfred, Alfred yeah. Durer. Yeah, Alfred. Yeah, those are nice pencils, Colleen. Aren't they pretty just to yeah. look at? <laughs> Those are good. Those are pretty 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 look at them. Yeah, I bought these because she bought them for her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law didn't want them, and so she got them for her for Christmas. And so she kept them, and then um, then she bought a bigger set because she loved them. So these are the ones like the really pricey pencils that I keep in a nice case. That that way nothing happens to them. So and I use I'll do that later off stream. I'll have some fun. I'll color. I'll color in my. I'll color in my chicken knitting an egg, and I'll finish coloring in my peacock. <laughs> okay, this calendar I would use. I wouldn't use that one on this page, but so far I would use every every picture on this page. It goes. It does look cute. I like it. Ah, uh, somebody loves you. I love that. Oh, we're, that's a cute image. Look at this calendar. Every almost every one I could use on that page. Oh, oh, that is it. What's it? Oh, Here, I'll share it. Let me show you real quick. I love you like no otter. Cute. But then look at every one. Look at the sloth. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you so much. All you need is love. I love you pig time. Hedgehog. I should make you big. Again, not thinking. There okay, you go. There Sorry, go. guys. I can see better. Okay. So, all right. I love you so much. Owl, you need is love. <laughs> Great, I love these. I, I know, love, I'm laughing because it's so dang cute. I know, I love you pig time. That one might go good here. 
Um, hedgehog. Oh. I go, you babe. <laughs> you occupy my heart. Yeah, I guess this would even go in here too. Um, I'm bananas for you. That's really cute. Um, I really, really love you. <laughs> smile on that whale. I love it. Oh, okay, let's see what else have we got. That's August. Oh, this somebody loves you. I think I might use this one. I love that one. I think and that's that my what pink did you use on the flowers? There's a, a, I know that don't look pink haters. <laughs> what did I use on the flowers? Okay, well, underneath was just leftover, probably acrylic paint from when I was jelly printing. And then I used the Dina Wakely sprays. Okay, the, the new ones. Oh, that's right. The new one did have pink in it. That yeah. was nice. Yeah, so they just kind of, I just like, how they all go together. And then I use the my Poscas to outline some of the flowers just to define them a little bit more. And I think I'm happy with how it turned out. Okay, so let's see, a couple more. We have, I love hanging out with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be good for an October. That, they made bats cute. That is how I do I know, I know. Um, you have my seal of approval. Oh, <laughs> and, oh, I love spend quality time with you. <laughs> Look at that sweet thing. This is great. And I hadn't opened this yet. I just opened it now. I love you, no otter. Oh, my God. I need that calendar in my life. That is. I mean, if that doesn't make you laugh and smile with joy. I love it. I know. So I think I'm torn. I do like the sloth. Oh, there's so many good ones in it. Okay. It's between the sloth and the bunny. I, oh. oh, it's hard to choose. I think the bunny. I, I think, think the bunny. Go with your gut. I think your buddy wins your first choice. Yeah. All right. Okay. So yeah. So now this is this is how I art journal. It's nothing. I mean, I just kind of see what's on my table, see what I've got, and see where I can go with it. So. Okay. So I'm gonna emboss my doors for my August folder. That's my next agenda. So I showed it in the beginning. And um, before I do that, um, the door inspiration. Well, I had the door journals already from Katherine Anderson. And then uh, Rosemary Morris on YouTube did the door, door, door journal kit. So I finished it. Other thing I got to do is I have to. Oh, Popo don't like pink either. That's another one. Don't like pink. This Popo. I don't know if she's in her, uh, she probably can't be in her swamp though. Um, anyway, so I made, uh, used all Catherine Anderson's and I made the binder. I wish I would have made my binder bigger because my pages do extend out past it, but I don't want to redo it. So all I got to do is bind these in and Tom said he would help me with it. So, because I think I'm going to do is drill through the book have him use the drill and drill through the, the holes through the book because it's a, a strong chipboard and you see i put images in all the doors okay and so you're not going to do the hinge thing no i think i'm going to have him drill the okay. holes through here and then um you know with a with a small drill bit and then and if he doesn't have any, if the drill bits end up being really large, like if you have, like use a small, I may have to use twine. I told him like we can line up the holes with this, like do one, two, three, like in the middle. That yeah, make a template, Colleen. Make a template. Oh, that's a good idea because he template. said he would do that for me. Yeah, make a template, and then it'll be you'll have no problem. And then. Um, Good, because I think then I'll use the hinge one on mine. I think I'll definitely do the hinges then on mine. I'll show you how this looks. So, so basically, 
um, what I finished it up by, I put crackle paint on the edges. Okay. And then um, that was a uh, crackle uh, paint was something Rosemary was using. Um, then I put the door and then I added a flamingo for Eileen. Okay. Then I cut the doors open and this became from this, this was from the Stamperia pack. I added to act as a, a pretend closer closure and inside i added this is a katherine anderson image and then this came from a book it was it was uh they were like in well, they were in the woods somewhere but they were talking about spending quality time with your kids or something uh, rather so, i like that picture so i put the the dad and his son like out so i put that on top of katherine anderson's image and then um on the inside I had I added an owl and then it didn't quite go up to the top so I cut from the uh another image from a book of a fern and I just like cut it in little slits so it would be movable and <laughs> it just for fun added that up here because it coincides with what's over here Okay, this is my favorite. Like I put a little squirrel sitting here in the door eating his nuts. There's a little chipmunk. Because there's the owl kind of going for the same theme. Um, the door was from her journal. This came from the Stamperia paper. And then when you open it, there's some kids. And see the kids are on their bikes and they're in, uh, on a trail. So in the woods, which coincides with, you know, with this original theme on the front so i actually made it all work together so and that's when i added because they're in the woods that's why i added the owl the squirrel and the chipmunk to cuteness and now on the back this is unrelated to what's going on i just like how this looks so here's another katherine anderson door and i cut it so it opened and i put a ladybug here giant ladybug for fun because on the inside Look, I found this little oriental lady walking through the trail to the to her garden. Oh, and I love that. that oh, added, a big ladybug. <laughs> another ladybug since she was wearing red. And so I added her inside the door. I love and, that. Thank you. I was excited to find someone that was like a, would fit the pay like fit as like appropriate size for walking down the trail like and just that big pop of red is so cool it is pretty isn't it because i don't use red very often and when i do it's all it, it's like usually oriental and then i like it so that was so there's one page the second i guess it doesn't matter what order so there's the second page again with katherine anderson's doors i did the crackle paste and you open the doors and I messed up here because this has white cardstock. So I fixed that, added some paper here. This I think was some Catherine store book or collage book. And then I had the Buddha dude. He was her, one of her images. And then I just add this bird. <laughs> the birds like looking up at him like, what is this? What are you doing? Uh, just for funny. I like to add a sense of humor. Um, this is a lock door thing from the paper case Samperia paper kit and then this one i just added a Samperia lock thing um added just a flower over here on the inside is just a uh, older couple holding hands and i added the little uh this is like a uh, this is actually snowy gloves holding a snow shaped ball uh you know snowball which i thought was cute and then i found this little white goat I just add, I, I just had to add them, or a white deer. I'm sorry, it's a little white deer. But I did just tied in with the white again. I just liked it. Um, over here, I had the, this is a Katherine Anderson's book. I, I found a girl and added her looking up the steps. And when you open the door, there's the bridge to like another world, right? There's a bridge. And there's the guy walking down the bridge and see like it's like opening up to another world right isn't that cool i love stuff like this oh that oh uh, i like that one too hi cats how are you oh thank hey, you Kathy. i liked your show we all ordered that book yesterday 
Yes, we did. Thank you. And, and I took notes, too, of what you did yesterday. I liked what you did with the uh with your drawing and then adding your dried flowers i don't have all the fancy flowers that you had either but like i do have some dried flowers i collected last year and i want to try that and implementing those in the drawing like you had it be a tree and then the little flower box i took notes i want to try that yeah that was a fun stream yesterday it was i loved all those ideas so I add a bird inside this door. So then I added the little uh, bird house on the outside. And I felt like this was kind of garden theme. So this door, look, I added a bird or a dove on the front, like as a, and worked as a quote unquote closure. And inside is the sea, like a ocean scene, which I thought was good with the seagull or dove or whatever this is. And then the inside was where I add my love of elephants. Uh, he's just left. Yeah, I took notes. I thought it was, I thought you had some neat ideas, Kathy. I liked it. Yeah. It I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to. And Kathy, uh, Kath, uh, Kathy liked it too. Yeah, I want to, it gave me some ideas how to finish. I think I've got flowers in my June one. I'm going to use some of those ideas for June. Thank you, Gail. And these pretty. Um, let me see. They're not. They're not. Um, the doors are not. Uh, these doors are not. Temple. These doors came from. Um, I cut. I laid them on a, a piece of cardstock and cut them out. But the doors came from Catherine Anderson's books. Hold on. This is some of them. Hold on. I made her over here. I apologize. I have, I have, I'm a, I'm a Catherine Anderson book holder, hoarder. I have all her books, so I love her stuff. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So if you go to Catherine Anderson's website, or, and you can also find her on uh, Amazon, she has books, she has collage imagery. It's these are all you can't. Yeah, these are all you can't sell them, but you can use these in your art. She gives she makes these for you to use specifically in your art, and I love it that she makes collage books for collage artists, and they're uh, packed with beautiful images around the world. Okay, and then she has a window book which we asked for. We asked her to do. Where is that at? Over here. We asked her to do a window book. And she did. Which was and so nice. Which is so sweet. We asked her if she had images of windows and she made a window book for us. Some great images in here. Okay, the doors came out of her door books. Hold on. She has doorways and openings. One, there's a, a one. This is two. And so she has Doorways Discovery, Doorways to Portugal, and all these mostly came, most of these I would say I got out of the Doorways 1 and 2 was where I got most of my doors from. And inside her books is all her, she has small doors, you can see, and these are doors from all over the world, and I cut these out of here. Aren't they beautiful? Go and collect some weed along the sides of the road. <laughs> just don't get hit by a car. I just looked up and saw that. Oh, good. You got them in your cart, Jen? Yeah, put them in your cart, and then when you're ready to order them, they'll be there. And I laid them on. So then after I, I took them out here, and then I laid them on cardstock side by side. And then I just, did, this was Rosemary's idea is like you cut part of the door out. So I would cut from like the side where you want to cut it out, like maybe this area or this area and cut part of the door out. And by cutting part of the door out, that's how you get the cool curves. And I just glued these on cardstock side by side. Isn't this her, and I have a whole bunch 
see like I was going through and you can see this is a sample. Like this was part of her collage pack I ended up not using. But you can see they're front and back. So the cool thing is about these is some of these you can cut them out and when you open the doors up, the door is on the inside. My daughter thought that was really neat that the door was on the inside. So when you open it, it looks like a, you know, a real door. I was like, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It's like I said, I did. I bought my books one at a time. I put them in my, I put them in my, I bought a few and I bought a few more and I bought a few more. And Okay, so this one I did. This was from her book. This image here, the collage image, with the, uh, and I added the books. The books came for the books. Added this elephant that was also in her collage imagery book. That elephant was, isn't he pretty? And then I added the door over here. I had these two windows. Now these two windows came from a different book uh, that I added. That was, and then uh, this came from Saint Maria. And then when you open it. Okay. Then I put a lion over here, and that again, this was also her from her collage imagery. So I had the lion looking at the elephant, and I love the. I thought the uh, just the the door colors and stuff all matched. And then on this one, you all saw on this one, all I did is add a candle. I added some cute little birds up here. Look at this male with these females, chain queen, and there's a lock. And then inside, I added a couple. So it's, it's I love, uh, I love everything, but I do love collage. Again, I added the, uh, open this up, I added the paste. So I glued the door, glued the door, cut a round shape, and then I added the crackle paste later. And then on the, and I cut the doors open uh, before I glued them down with the X-Acto knife. And I added these guys. I found the image and I picked this one because they match so well. Put there. Then I added, look at her. She's putting on this. Added her on the front of there. So you guys saw that. And then I added a cute little turtle and a flower. It's just fun. And then inside you saw I added the flower. I just added the little thing from the Sampria paper to make the lock. And then up here I added like and this was from a book, like these uh, fabrics hanging on a clothes wire, which I thought was cute. But, but it doesn't, it just kind of matched the colors of what's going on with the nebula. And here, it's not that it has anything to do with it, it just matched the colors. So I'm going to have Tom drill the hole for me. It's a good idea. I'll make a template. And then I'm going to stitch them in. And I'm done. So those are going to be stitched in. I made the cover, should have made my cover bigger, but it, but I'm gonna stitch it in anyway, not worry about it. Oh, and I added the Stamperia and I added the key and I also made sure that all these, I had to whack off the sides because I couldn't close my book. I got overzealous, but I saved it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I couldn't fold it because I got overzealous. It was too much, okay. Yeah, so I was kind of fun about that, but you know. So, so now I'm working on my folder, and I used uh, I used the Stamperia. Hold on, it's inside out. I used the Stamperia paper again. And that I is used, one of my favorite papers. This is a beautiful paper. This was uh, this was uh, inspired by Kathy Arbor. She bought this. Okay, working on a document post and Rosary's Facebook. Oh, and she's dyeing flower formulas. Ooh, fun. Cool, Peggy. Peggy, thanks again for those tags. That was awesome. Every Yeah, you inspired everybody. I tell you how fun this could be with the tags. And then, um, so I glued the papers down the inside, deco edged and inked. I showed it earlier. And I added a Aunt Catherine Anderson image on the, on the back side. And so what I'm going to do on the inside is my first, when I was trying to make my door book for the uh, Rosemary's Caboodle thing, Caboodle kit, I was doing my own, you know, with the, with her doors, but playing along. I made this one, which was way too big. She also has books with big doors, too. 
And so then, uh, so I decided to save it and I'm going to use it inside this folder here, uh, my August folder. And Cass, Kathy Arbor, started this in January and you make one folder a month. And then we're going to put them, then we're going to stitch them all together at the end of 12 months and have one big book of art. It's really a cool concept. And I'm making mine different themes each month. She keeps um, different themes, but she's also kind of making hers like nature themes. And she's been doing nature theme stuff and hers. And she does painting and drawing and things like that. So Kathy said it looks gorgeous. It does. I agree, Kathy. It's beautiful. I love watching what she does. So. Cass <laughs> is going to send you all her folders. <laughs> I'm just using this folder. Just so Really? How'd you work that out, Eileen? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Elizabeth Designs books that, that, um, that Gail said did. it's very inspiring to see that luscious folder. It it's all gorgeous. Say it's just a few, when you put the Sanfria paper on, I don't care what it just it just like it takes a basic it takes a basic boring file folder. Well, this one's got some color and makes it into this. I mean, how do you go from a Manila folder to this? Just adding some beautiful rice paper and paper, like it's incredible. Right, and uh, we've made some that have uh, we bought the ones that have all the flips in it. Um, you can make your own flips. So, I'm going to do I these little um, these little chipboard doors, I just hit them. Um, these I've had forever in my stash, and I pulled those out. And I'm going to do is, is add these to my folder. So I'm making a door folder just because I don't want to waste the big door pages that I made. And I thought they matched the Sampria paper. So I thought I would do is emboss these little doors and add them on there for fun. Because And then I'm going to do the stamping method too. The melt, uh, do the stamping, which is super cool. This is my favorite of the, the colors. I use the most of his. This is definitely my favorite. Oh, Helen put a link up to the woman writing paper on Amazon. Yeah, that was a Chow Bella. Yeah, Chow Bella has beautiful rice papers and papers as well as Stamperia. They both have they both have beautiful papers. All right, I have my Stamperia pad nearby. And my and that. And my heat gun. Oh, I got to put Kathy on. Sorry. Kathy's still here. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yell at me if I get in my mood. No, I, I love the bunny. I love okay, how so you just like lay this, just went, took with the flowers and just went with it on your cover. Yeah. So what I did was I did take a little bit of um, ink with a dauber and just put it down here to kind of give it some shading to make it, because it was kind of blending in too much. So you could use a little more down here. But yeah, that just kind of, kind of made him pop a little bit. I, I think what I might do, I don't know, I might go in and in the open spaces, uh, just doodle some flowers. Ooh, that is cool. I'm going to add another layer. I might do on it. I wonder if I could do, I'm debating where I'm going to have the doors. I'm going to have the doors in here flat. Or I'm going to have the doors open. And I don't know what's going to be behind it if I do. Let's 
So that makes a difference or how, if I put the embossing powder on both. And I thought, and I think I need to do the edges too. So maybe I'll try doing the edges with this brown. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. If it mixes, it doesn't matter because they all look they all look cool together. Yeah, I think and that's they, how I'm gonna finish it off. I'm gonna uh, fill in all these blank places around the flowers with little flower doodles. Oh, bye, Janet. See you later. Bye, Janet. Thanks. Thanks for uh, playing. Okay, Eileen wants to know where did you get the doors? I don't know. They're <laughs> really old. <laughs> I wish I could remember my little door chipboards. They're really old. I found them in my stash. I know. I love when I find cool stuff. Yeah, I went stash. searching. I actually searched for them to figure out, trying to figure out like maybe what company. Um, may have made these and i was unsuccessful in my search but then i would say i'm not like the best at searching either like the cast book eileen had that link up there that book she showed the um we ordered the which i loved um the art journaling book like I was still looking and I was like, crap, I can't find it. And Eileen had it up there. I was like, yes. <laughs> I, I was like, yes, I can always count on Eileen. She's like way faster. It's finding stuff. If I have trouble finding something, I'll send her a message and be like, hey, I'm trying to find this or that. And I can't find it. Boom, she finds it. Yes, Eileen will be your personal shopper. <sighs> Then get it gets hot. I gotta find my tweezers. That's probably what you should not do. Just be holding it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing. Hold on. Now. While it's still hot, use some. Use a rubber stamp and your stays on. Smoosh it on there. Really, really good. So why it's hot so it gets in there. And that we learned from Fran. It's a Bye, cool. Joan. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Joan. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I think Joan might have been saying bye to Janet. Oh, Joan was saying bye. Sorry. Not trying to kick you out. Nope. So there you go. So isn't that cool? I love doing that technique. So there's some blue. Are you what did I use? I used Tim's uh, Broken China and Fire Brick and then stamped on top. Come on, camera. You can do it. There. And stamped on top. Oh, I like how that turned out. It's all grungy. Cool. Oh, I love it. Look at the bottom. Okay, look at the bottom. With the when you add a fired brick and some stamping, it starts looking all kind of rusty like the paper. Okay, I might cut out some windows and try that on paper. Just oh, to see for my house. That looks good. Okay, let me do the I guess I'll do the back just in case. I decide to make it a open window that opens. Okay. That looks neat. So then you take it. Okay, this was yeah, then you take it from this to this. Look how neat that is. Like from yeah, this I is just painted to to something special and cool, right? Yes, that's embossed, right, Colleen? Yes. Yeah, it's embossed in. Yeah, I used uh, Tim Holtz embossing um, embossing glazes. 
and they are different than normal embossing powder. It's an embossing glaze. I love these. I would hardly ever emboss until I got these. Yeah, they're fun. They're translucent. Yeah, they're translucent. They look good on glassine. Thank you for saying that. As I forgot about that. They look great on glassine paper. I tried them on that. Um, they're fun. They are very fun. You can layer them. You can mix the colors. You can layer them. This is with stamping on them. Um, he, on his Facebook page, he has loads of techniques on his Facebook page with his embossing enamels. Now this, hopefully, this is going to turn out a little different because I'm missing. That's right. It's stuck to my paper. My gesso is stuck to my paper. So we'll see what happens if you don't <laughs> gesso your chipboard and you do. It's going to turn out a different color. All right. Ooh. This time, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a little bit of both. Let's make sure I use, I might for sure use the blue on that, that part because it's darker. Let's mix the both. Hey, Colleen, you want to put yourself big so people can see what you're doing? I'm just drawing flowers over and over again. Okay. Hold on. This time I'm going to be brave and mix it. I'm not, be careful not to mix your powders. I've done that before. I get overzealous <laughs> and start dumping another color on before I put it back in the jar and then I mix colors. Well, if you do that, then you end up with an extra container that's all the powders mixed together. <laughs> hey, Dorothy. <laughs> right, which is what I started. This is my powders I mixed together. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my own concoction. <laughs> It's called, I forgot to put it back in. And, uh, yeah. Hold on. Okay, Eileen made Dorothy buy a book yesterday. Which one, Dorothy? I couldn't do file for that again with the paper. <laughs> was, that the, was that Cass's book? Maybe. I don't know. Which book did she make you buy, Dorothy? I love that journal book. Yeah. I love that. Uh, it. Uh, um, I didn't like that Amazon didn't have any pictures or nothing. And Cass bought it, like, not knowing how good it was going to be and showed it on it and shared it. And I appreciate that because I didn't yeah. like that Amazon didn't have any photos or nothing. That's not usual for them. I'm leery of books that they don't they, they don't show what's on there. Right, because you don't know. You like wonder why are they not right. showing it? Yeah, you're like, is this book really bad and it can't look that dark because I like, didn't have the white. So that's what happens if you don't put the gesso on your chipboard. Not this cool moment. I add a little bit more on there. Ooh, that looks good. And yeah, maybe I won't worry about it. Cause I am gonna stamp with black. Let's just go for it. Oops. With all with all the paper. Oh, she's not gonna let Eileen talk her into buying paper. Oh. <laughs> There you gotta push use a rubber stamp, don't use a a, a plastic one and um or acrylic one. Push really hard. Hold on. Oh, I'm sticking. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Hold on, we maybe we do on the other side. Okay. Okay, see it? Oh, I love it. Now that's a different color, obviously. Hold on. Don't do what I just said. I gotta redo this side. Hold on. Hey, this is in real time. This is if you screw up. It's like a happy accident, so. <laughs> yeah. This is this is if you mess up. That's okay. It's okie dokie. Hold on. I gotta dump this back in. <laughs> burn out my folder. Hold on. 
Okay, Kathy just said dot. Thanks for blaming Eileen for this one. <laughs> yeah, it's all Eileen's fault. It's always Eileen's fault. Okay, I'm gonna switch because I think it was sticking to the the previous. I need to switch out my papers. I think there's some blue back in. Oh, make sure colors. See, I'm ready to dump the red back on. This is part I don't like doing. So I want to just like keep dumping and I don't want to stop. But I should. I like this. Uh, I mean, I guess that's true with any embossing powders, but I do like how they play well together. I do really like how they play well together. Let me scoot that over so I don't make that mistake again. And then re-stamp it. It's not like these are legible, so it doesn't matter if they match up or not. Oh, that one. I did too. Collecting Moments. That's a, it, it is such a cool book. I, I thought that was neat. And I've kind of started doing that already. So look how grungy this looks. I like it. Except I don't like when it pulls off the back. I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong on that. Okay. But I got other doors to work on. But if you look at like how neat this is though with the colors of the folder it picks up like the colors that's on her with the rust how cool is this so i'm going to add this and i have the door book the doors inside i should be careful laying it down there and then how neat that's going to look on here for my door journal so yeah it's, i love doing stuff like this um i started let me find it what I got excited about is I kind of started doing that myself with the daily journal. And it gave me the idea of, of ways that I can take this because I've watched like Jersey and uh, Brooke and other people um, doing their um, journals. And so then I started to make a daily journal myself. But I like the binder idea that Brooke had, but I also like the idea of you know um adding the you know adding photos and so i thought when she showed the journal i thought it was a cool idea i wanted to see how i can like take um my daily journal to another level hold on i can't get out. so i can you know use that as a jumping off point for this so which is what i kind of started doing with this one this is like we did this on stream and so I journaled about it and we made the denim uh, napkin journal and Tom came up bedazzled and Kathy's like, take a picture. I'm like, oh my gosh, these are just printed out my printer. So that, I love that page. That is so cool. It's, it's just fun like to remember what, the, you know, since it was such a fun and unusual stream where we took it to the cowbells and, and the bedazzling and our complications with the bedazzling. And then, you know, we had issues with my internet and we had Dar's uh, donkey. So <laughs> that was great. <laughs> and then I screened, yeah, I took a photo of that and Spectrum sucks bug donkey parts. <laughs> and when you get a chance, Eileen would like you to show the crackle paste that you used on the door book so she can find some. Oh, okay. So anyway, so I'm hoping that that journal will give me more jumping off points. You know, I also added in here, I added um, cards. I added cards for my friends and the, um, the semi cards and like birthday cards. And I keep all my cards from Teresa too. And a couple of those are in there. And then I was working on like Tom's birthday was the other day. So, um, you know, so I journaled about his birthday and uh, look at, look at Bandit. <laughs> 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 he's like you know in on the conversation he's sitting there at the table with everyone <laughs> 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 
give me some cake. It was my kids. This is my daughter, Caitlin, my oldest. She's 28. It was my youngest. It was Kim. She is 24. She's getting married. She is married. And it was my husband. It was his birthday. So anyway, it was fun. And then uh, we went for a walk. Then like this one, um, for instance, I journaled this day. This is Tuesday. We did your stream. And I took just a quick photo of my phone of the pockets and put it in there remember what we're doing and then this is the one i made with with lena and i took a photo of it and put it in to remember i love that i'd to love remember. to take a picture and put it in there and then this one tom and i would go for walks our dogs sit in the window watching us make us feel even when the windows are up to that day but if the windows are down they sit there watching us to come to relieve our walk and come back i love that <laughs> you feel the guilty they sit in the window Thank you. so yeah so i'm adding um just photos i'm adding i'm using stickers galore that you know these stickers i have i've been adding stickers and photos and just all using up like my markers and things like that and i'm having fun with this i'm really glad that um uh, they were doing that and then i put in my book the um the journal with purpose and um, I have that in here on my stickers and so what I did is I gathered everything in the bag the white bag and I put my stickers my journals like uh, all that so I have it all in one spot because it was like exceedingly like spreading oh cool idea so I can just took that over my binder and so I even started today's page with streamings. I knew that's what I was doing, right? And and then my page, and then I took some of the little doodles from the journal with purpose and added those on. So I think it's just a fun place to to doodle, to draw, to stamp, to add stickers, to whatever. It's yours. Do what you want, right? Oh, I'm so glad you showed me that book, Colleen. Mine came yesterday, and I was looking at it last night. I just, I love it. It is so cool. It, it's a cool book, and I love all the simple little drawings in there. Here's what I used on my door journal crackles. I used Finnabar, Hopper. Come on, camera. You can do it. Come on. Hey, Deb. There. Text. It is Texture Paste Copper Crackle by Finnabar. And that's what I use on my door journal. Oh, I think I have some of that. That worked good. It did work well. And I have that one. I have, um, let me find it in here. It's underneath here. I keep like all of my little paste and stuff together. So. Uh, the point is so I can quickly grab it, but it is not quickly at this moment. So I can't remember my door it's in. Okay, and then I also have the um I have the platinum crackle, which is oh, nice. Really pretty. There's the difference. There's the platinum. There's I've used more of this than I have the copper. And so that's what I used on my door journal book. You can you know, so many other kinds. I have so many pastes. I have a, a big amount, and I still keep buying them because I like them. <laughs> you just can't help yourself. You found a frantic stamper. Hi, Deb. How are you? You're working and listening. Okay. Watching. Looking and lurking. Working and lurking. We appreciate you being here. Let us know you're here. So, so Dot, are you, do you think you'll use yours for art journaling? You think you'll do daily journals? What do you think that you, what are you hoping to learn from that book from Cass? I'm just curious. I don't actually know exactly. I know she does a lot of fabric stuff, but I don't know exactly what um, it, she likes to do. Ooh, hold on. Okay, it's goopy with this, but doesn't matter because I'm putting the same colors on here anyway. Okay, I have to say that the um, that Signo White Uniball pen mm -hmm. works great over the Dina Wakely sp acrylic sprays. 
Oh, yeah, that's what you doodled your flowers with that pen. Oh, yeah. really great. Oh, my God. And just don't um, don't press hard. Just a really light touch. Oh, actually, oh, that looks better on screen than it does in person. <laughs> now, sometimes I always I try to look at it on screen to see where I need to, if it needs anything. Don't you love when that happens? Yeah, because I'm sitting here like with my nose into it. I'm like, ugh, all these flowers, but it actually kind of finishes it off. Okay. Yeah, but just um, just a light touch if you're using this over the acrylic paint, and it seems to just spread on really nice. I'm missing spots is what's happening. It's making me mad. And then my dauber is pulling up some of it. Get top of there. Okay. Now the chunks are in there. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. You all see me do this technique before, but I really like it. That's that one you did on the Asian Journal originally, correct? Yes. Okay. I did this on the Asian Journal, and I and I loved it. And um, I'm still like, I mean, this is awesome for tip board. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and watch this because last time you were doing it with the Asian one, I was doing something else also. <laughs> That's okay. Keep people. But that's a good thing about having it because you can go back and watch. It's true. And everyone's not bored. So if they, if they don't care about this, they can watch what you're doing. So I think that it actually is perfect because they might, they might be interested more in what you're doing. So, and then people, some might be interested in what I'm doing. I think it's perfect that we do that. Yeah, this works out because then like I've been and I've been able to just because I'm doing this kind of no brainer thing. I've been able to uh, keep up with chat for you, too. Yeah, and I appreciate that. And that's fun to do that kind of art, though. That's I know so this is the type of stuff I like to bring out like on my patio. I think it's I fun. Like to do. Relaxing, just like even like a. Uh, coloring in, uh, like coloring in those stamps with the watercolor pencils, like that's, you know, that's relaxing to do. It's not entertaining for a stream, but it is relaxing to do on your own. Right. It's mindless entertainment for us. Yeah, exactly. There's some stuff that's, you know, great to do on your own, and then, you know, some of it's just not streamable. So I think that that's always important for a streamer to remember is that something you really like to do someone it might be really boring to watch but might be uh but they might like to see what you did in the end like the finished product but always keep in mind that you know okay ooh. so Anne has a question mm -hmm. she um bye gilly thanks for coming do you bye, stamp gilly. first or do you stamp at the end or do you stamp both She's asking. Oh, okay. I first. did a, a first thing I did is I put gesso. I put gesso on my chipboard. I did that last night. Just so your chipboard because it work. It just works better. Then I do the embossing powder, and while it's still hot, you stays on ink a rubber stamp and stamp it into it while it's still hot, so that well, actually it's six because <laughs> I got stays on on there. Then it sinks down into, then it will kind of sink down into it. Like, if I can get my camera to focus. It grunges it up. It's there. There you can kind of see it. It really gets, it's actually in and in, gets inside of it and it gets grooved. Let me get my, 
this might be a better example like when I had double stamped there and it gets inside the wax and okay, so you stamp it while right after you emboss while it's a little bit warm. Yeah, can you see okay. how that looks different, like the warmer spot? Yes, then you get that indenting. It gives it more texture. Okay, cool. Thank you. That's the word, indentions. So, and you can use whatever, like this is the doors are small. So this, this works well just because it's small print. If you were doing something that was... You know, you can use any rubber stamps you have. I would recommend cleaning the Saison off when you're done. But yeah, and it's a neat, it's a neat technique to, to push that into it. I mean, I love how that looks. It takes so, it from, from boring. Just no embossing glaze and then you stamp. Yeah. Is that everything? That's it. That oh, means, okay. It's not easy. It's so fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you need an embossing ink, you know, either a pad or um, right. this is a dauber. You need embossing ink. Oh, that's cute where you picked, where you uh, pulled that out of there. I'm going to do one more door. Let me see which one. I think I'll do the oval. I did. I had five different doors. So I worked on all of them and I was like, ah, I'll decide, I'll decide when, it's, when I'm working on it, how many, I think I'll just do three instead of the five. And again, my dauber is dirty. If you don't like that, just clean it off. But I'm putting the same embossing powders down. Now I will clean this off. You can see it's well used. Um, this is by Stampedius. Um, you want to clean it off when you're done if you don't want it contaminated. But for the stuff I'm doing on this one, I don't. I like it contaminated. That gives me all the the rusty color, the turquoise color. Yeah, the grunginess. Yeah, all the grunge goes with the the Staperia paper. So like I said, I get over overzealous. I want to like. No, no, you didn't paint it. You just did white gesso, emboss, and then stamp because the embossing powder is what gives you the color. Correct. So gesso, emboss, stamp. No paint. Yeah. No paint. Just gesso. Yeah, the embossing powder uh, gives it the color. You can do it over paint, and it would change it, and you can. But okay. I did not. Thank you, Pam. She says that Merrimy Smalls has chipboard doors. Oh, there okay, you go. Good. Oh, thank you, Pam. I didn't know she had doors. There you go, Eileen. Merrimy Small Art has doors. And she's, even though she's overseas, she's pretty quick. It does come from where, another country, but still, I mean, I, I, I don't think that his issues. I mean, yeah, it ships pretty quick. I think I've not ordered from her, but I know of that Pam here. There you go. If you want some doors, the door ones, and these are fun. Okay, so I did the gesso. I did the turquoise. I'm doing the red. Now I'm going to get my Saison pad. While this is still hot, I'm going to ink up my. You got my pad. It doesn't, and the the embossing stuff does not hurt your ink pad or your uh, stamp. I mean, it does not hurt your stamp. I would just clean it off when you're done, just because it stays on sticky. Yeah, Woo! it's hot, hot gun. Don't lay your hand on. It. There we go. And a little bit stuck in there. I'm gonna wipe that off. But look, how cool is this? I love that. I'm doing that. I'm trying that technique now. I thought it was much more complicated. So simple and so neat looking. Yeah. Uh, it was thanks to Fran. Her name was Fran. I see her at stream still on occasion. Fran. Or was it Fran? or? Oh, yeah, it was Fran. I couldn't remember if it was Fran or Tori. I think Tori had seen it too. Yeah. 
And Fran, I can't remember her last. It was oh, her. Fran over the edge. Fran over the edge. That was it. Because it, it was such a good memory. Oh, the doors and windows are sold out in Mayor Me Small Art. Oh, she had windows too. Oh, darn. Okay. Well, we all going to have to stalk her, um, her website <laughs> on a regular basis. And, and, uh, and for the doors and the windows to come back in. That's all there is to it. I didn't know she even had them. Look at, I tell you what. That's awesome. As I said, I got these so long ago. I don't know who made them or anything else. And I've used a lot. It was a big pack of chipboard doors. Like, it was a big pack. Let me tell you, big. And I don't, like I said, I got them. It came with, like, 10, 15 doors in the kit. I'm thinking, I could be wrong. I think it might, again, it always comes back to, uh, to uh, Karen Campbell. Or is that her name? Cameron, no, Karen Campbell. Cam, or what? Uh, or Christy, I'm sorry, Christy Tomlinson. Karen Campbell reminds me of Christy Tomlinson. Yeah. That's why I said that. She reminds me of her. And that's, uh, and I almost bet I got the doors. I'm almost, I'm almost wondering if I got the doors from her. Let it dry before you drop it. <laughs> yeah, the doors from her and the windows, I think, are Ray Messinger. Her st uh, stencil windows. So that's true. If you have a cameo, um, Joan said, you can make them on a cameo. Oh, but that's that's. Really, I should do that. I should cut it out on paper, like a heavy paper. Yeah, I have a cameo I never used. I never thought about that. That's a good idea. Okay, thanks for the link. Oh, I, uh, PM's going to try and uh, do some on her cameo. Are those wooden doors? I think they look wood. Are those chip? No, they say they're chipboard. They're chipboard, but I think they're wood. Oh, one is, oh my gosh, and you can get the bundle of the doors and windows. And it looks like a screen door. Neat. Okay, I'm going to bookmark that. And I bookmark that. That's me. Scrapaholic chipboard has it. Oh, hold on. I got to get him. Doug's on the phone. Jack? Jackson. Scrapaholics chipboard. Ooh, they got a bunch of stuff. There you go. Thanks. There you go, guys. They get it. There's a ton of chipboard there. I don't know if they have doors or not. Oh, I see a mermaid. Zonder would want. Let's see doors. They have a few. Looks like fairy. Fairy doors, but not door doors. Let's see. Let's see your windows. They have some. They have some cute windows. They're two ninety nine, and then the other was three ninety nine. They do have some cute chipboard uh, windows. I don't see. I don't see doors, but they do have windows. Cool. Thanks for the, thanks for letting us know. They're sold out there too. Wow. Holy moly. It's a hot commodity apparently. Wow. Doors and windows, had no idea. I have a few extra, Eileen. I'll pop you some in the mail. 
I have more doors and 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 uh, extra doors. I'll send you some. If you can't find them anywhere, I'll send you some doors in the mail. I'll share my chipboards with you. I've had them for years. I don't mind sharing. He's always doing so much to help us out. Like saying, uh, cut the corners off and cut out the half circle <laughs> on your pocket so you don't forget. All right, it's just wiping off the... Oh, Marcia, Mar oh, Martha ones are, okay. And ordered from there for your ancestral threads journal. Okay, well, I'm in, I'm in, Tice. What is your ancestral threads journal? That sounds neat. I'm intrigued. Is this something you're doing on your own? Is this is this is this a part of something else? Oh, bye, Helen. Running some errands. Okay, see you later. Thank you for your help today. Now, if someone else pops on streaming, will someone let me know? If someone else comes on that you, we can all take the bus to, let me know. If someone comes on streaming. I don't, I know, I think Barb is streaming at one. And, oh, I know, oh, I want to remind everybody. I almost forgot. It, is it 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, Eileen? If Sharon O, uh, her channel, I'm going to put the link in. Um, her and Brooke and Johnny, Junk Journal Shop and Brooke, are going to, I think Brooke's name or channel, are going to be at Sharon O's. And she is such a sweet, she's so cute. And she's they're gonna jelly plate i think together and so it'll be they'll be jelly plating together all three and i think it's two or three eastern which would be in another 40 minutes to an hour and 40 i can't remember two or three oh who was streaming this afternoon sharon o that's i just remembered i want to put that in there sharon that o. was like two right i can't remember if it's two or th two or three that's why i was asking for some reason, let me see. I'll look. Jelly, they're going to be jelly plating, and they're really um, fun people to hang out with. Three Eastern, Eileen said. Three Eastern. Okay, so it's an hour and 40 minutes, Dot, where you're at. Because I, I never know what time it is for Dot. So an hour and 40 minutes. Let me see if I can find the link. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You ordered the industrial dad's journal. Oh, the journal for Catherine Anderson's class. Thank you, Gail. You talk getting tired. Lordy. Oh, yeah. Gail, do, have you worked on that? Have you done the class? <laughs> what is this? That would send you mail. I used to watch her in the very beginning when you did some steampunkish videos. Yeah. Okay. There's lots of good people to watch. Hey, Laura. How are you? Hey, it's we're gonna. Uh, we just told people about Sharon's. She's right. still streaming, right? With Johnny and Brooke, they're gonna jelly plate. Let's see if I can find it. Her channel put in here. I have to look for it because I can't remember. Hey, Colleen. Yeah. I'm gonna make a short call. Okie dokie. Um, shoot, what's it start with? I gotta look through my subscriptions. 
I just I just started following her, so I'm having trouble remembering. Oh, here's a little piece I forgot. Laura will know her name. Hold on. Is Laura key it in yet? Does she remember her name? Uh, oh, here it is. It, I found it. Is, it. is it Vintage Art Chronicles? Is that it? That's it. I found it. Okay. Shoot. Oh, who's that, Colleen? I have trouble remembering her channel name. It's Sharon. Oh, Sharon O. Yeah. All right. Now I can put the. Thank you. I, I have so much trouble remembering her channel name. There it is. So if you click on that link, uh, dot, if uh, anyone else that's. Uh, doesn't follow her or want to follow her, you can, and it's uh, an hour and a half. She'll be on with uh, Johnny, and I'm assuming they're jelly plating. I honestly don't know. I'm assuming. I really should assume. I think they did. said they were going to jelly plate. Okay. Yeah. First, yeah, they were going to jelly plate. Okay, good. Because I don't, I shouldn't say that. So you guys can hang out there this afternoon. I love when there's other people to go. And yeah. the all day streams to hang out. Is Barb streaming today? Barb Owen, Barb, is she doing her two o'clock? Two to something, two, four, two, five. So I think it varies. She might be. Dot is here. She's probably not on. Not yet. She doesn't come on until two. Oh, that's right. I'm so tired. Okay. <laughs> Here's what Eileen says. Colleen says, if the kitchen's falling apart, who cares? But she gets upset if she needs more shelves in her art room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Well>, duh, Eileen. <laughs> That's right. I got priorities. Just saying. Cooking. Oh, I like to cook. All right, that looks good. So I glued my doors down in here. I'm going to stitch these in, I think, or sew them in real quick. I have sew them in. I could do it really fast. And then I don't know if I need anything else in here. Let's see. What else do I need, Eileen? Oh, I love that. That's your folder, right? That's your August folder? Yeah. So I have her on a cover and then... The doors and then I'm going to sew this in with these doors there's the back I could add to this but then I don't I have I don't really have anything here so I can't decide if I need anything here or not or I do to a couple more doors let's see I have two more doors if I could add those over here and I could pull out a third one I don't know also want to do with this folder it's just a door journal, just a mini one. I don't want to do a big uh, elaborate one like I just finished. It took me forever to finish that one. So that would be here. Let me add those here. Just add two more, I guess. And then I could say done and done. I'm pooped. I'm taking and not doing next month's caboodle kit. I'm taking that, taking a break. And but I am going to do the one after that. I think I'll just, maybe I'll do these two doors real quick and then add those to the other side. Oh, you're doing the Native American, right? Yeah, I'm going to do the Native yeah. American, but I am taking a break from the other. Oh, I know I'm going to show you guys real quick. Here's my get sidetracked. Okay, so I was playing. Oh, I'm going to show you guys something really cool. Okay. But this bit, I still can't see. Maybe something plain. Okay. So I have all kinds of these doors and windows. That's what I was thinking about doing. I had a plan last night. Um, so I have this. I have these. These windows. And then I have a big window. I have this window. Okay, and then I have this one. 
which has got some doors, stencils. So my thought on this last night was to take copper metal Okay, and then I um, thought on this was to take the copper metal, trace the doors out. That was it. That's what I was going to do. Oh, I'm so tired. You give up on what? I made one sample. I give up. You forgot the half circle. Where? Oh, what is, where'd you make that? Um, this is, um, I did, I traced. I traced this on some old metal paper by, oops, my door is thinking, by, uh, the brand was Architecture by EK Success. And I embossed this and ran ink over it. And it was one of my stencils here. And oh, then I that thought, turned out good. Yeah. So I thought that would be kind of neat. That's what I was going to do on the other side. Okay. So were you supposed to put a half circle somewhere, Colleen? Eileen, are you on live chat? <laughs> <laughs> She's going back through. I missed, I did not remember to do my half circles on my pocket. Is that because you weren't here? Because you were, weren't here. I screwed up on this and I did not do my half pockets. But it worked out for the best because I was able to squeeze in my cute little image there. Right, that wouldn't have fit with extra tall which wouldn't fit if it was cut out like the other so i you know i made the best of it but i did forget the circles because you weren't here to yell at me i need you here you can't leave the house you just can't <laughs> right that's what we've decided um ann said that she's almost finished with her ancestor journal her katherine anderson ancestor journal did you see that Oh, yeah. okay. oh, Ann, that's awesome. All right, let's do the metal embossing. That's what I was going to do. <sighs> wake up, Colleen. Wake up. I'll show you how I did the purple one. I used, I did the purple because I had, this is metal. You can hear. And uh, I worked on this last night, and I totally forgot already. So, I also have a big one I could put on there, but I don't know if I want to cover up the paper, the whole paper with it, because it's really pretty paper. Let's see. I could do this. Let's see. Hey, Mike, you here to art, hopefully? Hi, Mike. I think he goes, to, he's been here before. Oh, okay. And I think he goes, Welcome. I think he goes to Dee Dee's, too. Okay. Okay, Mike is cute. Mike is cool. He's cool. He's fine. Okay, <laughs> but you're double checking. Okay, so Eileen's just yelling at you at this point. I don't know what she's yelling about. I'm not cutting anything. I don't want you. Are you on live chat? Okay, she can't hear me. She isn't. Hold up. Okay, where does she need the half circles? I'm not sure. Oh, check out your embossed window on IG. On IG, Ann. Hold on. Let me go look. Oh, here you go. Awesome. She made one with us. Okay, cool. Let me look. Did everybody see that? Yeah. See how she did the um, she did the embossing powder and the stamping. Look. Oh, uh, that turned out good. Now was that on a piece of paper? Look at that. You guys gotta follow Ann on Instagram. And Claire, C L A H R. You gotta follow her. 
Oh, look, she's got her, she's got a house journal. We saw the video, but she's got her house journal up too. Oh, good. If you want to look at it. What is this? Oh, look, she did a paint with Janet too. I know, I guess I forgot. Oh, look how good that is. Oh, she did that one with Janet? Yeah. <laughs> she did a paint with Janet watercolors. Oh, that turned out so good, man. <laughs> And this is, she's doing her eye cats. I have six more to go. Six more, and I'm caught up on my eye cats. Anne's like, Anne is um, done. I have six more to go, and I'm caught up. She's doing the eye cats, and I got way behind. I have six to go. She's cranking through them, too. She's getting her eye cats done. Oh, I like, oh, I like this one. She did a pool table. Okay, I gotta look down there now. She did a uh, cut it out of cardboard. Okay, cut out of cardboard. Oh, that's okay. He said it does sound kind of trollish, but he's not. Yeah, I actually checked out your channel. You're not. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he does. Uh, Lisa and Spanky. <laughs> um. I'm confused. On the tuck spots for the tag. Okay, I'm waiting for Eileen to find out if she's in live chat. She hasn't responded. She, she has. Oh, look at. Oh, my God. I'm way behind on Instagram. Look how she did an outfit out of a dollar bill. Oh, cute. Oh, my God, Ann. Look at that. She did a origami outfit out of a dollar bill. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a good idea for the dress journal. Oh, that's true. Look at her. And you are you are good. Oh, she's crying. I'm looking. I'm, I'm, I'm like liking them all. She's like me. Like, I want to finish my eye cats. I got six left. I'm going to finish because I'm like, I don't like to not finish. My start. That is stinking awesome. Okay. I think Eileen was yelling for you to go look at ants. That's what that was about. That was my fault. I thought she was yelling about the half circle. Oh, thank you. Because I, I, sorry. Sorry. I, that was I'm my sorry. fault. I was so confused. I'm so sorry, Eileen. I cannot multitask, I guess. <laughs> oh, you're fine. I, uh, you're fine. I wasn't getting it either. Eileen, don't be mad at me. Where'd she go? She did not come back. Eileen, don't be mad at me. I'm going to be, I'm going to do my Jersey voice. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Ian, for playing along. I love this. I'm so jealous of this. This is beautiful. Janet must have just, has Janet seen it? Oh, yeah. Hopefully Janet No, Janet has not seen it yet. You know what? You didn't tag her. Go back yeah, and tag Janet. Go back and edit your um, your post, and Like if you, if you click the three dots, you can edit it. And if you have painting with Janet, I would also put her name in there, at Janet Merle or whatever she goes by. It would come up. Luckily, I don't have to remember everybody's names tag her personally too yeah i'm gonna follow the the painting with janet too let's see yeah janet's had some good uh paint alongs there's a lot of people on here i don't know so i think the paint with janet can't be right because i don't see i see a lot of other people on it the hashtag but do it at her name. At Janet Merle Young. Is that what she is on Instagram? Yeah, so she can see it. Eileen, come back. Don't be mad at me. Eileen, <laughs> come back. Okay, Jersey said she heard that Barb said she's back to first Fridays of the month. Okay, thank you for letting So I really honestly, had, I did not know. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And I use this one as an I was trying it out. Okay, so I got my stamp, Sizzix stamp pad, so I'd have something soft underneath. And then I laid this down and I traced some doors. All right, I'm 
want to waste the metals. I know they don't make this anymore. There we go. I'm going to lower my camera. So everybody Where's can Eileen? see. Did she ever come back? Eileen, come back. Don't be mad at me. That was my fault, Eileen. It's all Kathy's for hashtag. It's all Kathy's fault. <laughs> Just blame it on me. Be mad at me. All Kathy's fault. See, now I'm obsessed with like filling every little blank space with a flower. <laughs> this is when somebody has to be like, stop. Because <laughs> I will just keep getting them smaller and smaller and smaller. So what I could do is I can obviously leave them the color they are, or I could alcohol ink over the copper, and I could also do what I did before, which is use the, um, but I need a smaller tip, and rub the ink pad over it. No, I need smaller. I have all different sizes of these, so I'm looking through my little. All right, I think I can my little this. my little collection of these. Okay, stylus. I bought these to do dot art, which I never did. <laughs> but what I was like, well, now. Oh, now you've got a whole set for this. Yeah, now I can use these for metal. As I was thinking the other day, I was watching, there was someone on, um, I was watching Crafting Mamas the other day. She recommended someone in chat and, and I didn't follow her. So I went over to her channel and started looking through all her videos and she did some metal embossing that she was using. I used to have them. I got rid of them. Um, do you remember the Walnut Creek? Um, embossing tools. They used to have a whole set of these, like where you roll it and do ridges and that. Well, anyway, oh, she was. No, I never got into that. Anyway, thing. then I remembered. Then I remembered having these dot tools, and I was like, I was like, I can use these. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, and I don't have to rebuy all that because I don't know how much of this I would do. Like I don't. Know. I'm just having fun with it, and I remember my door stencil. And decided that this would be fun to, to to do and out of my folder. So see, this is why I always say if you have a place to store it, keep it for a while. Yep. I had them all. I had a whole set of those walnut tool things and got rid of them. And now I'm like, I had all those. And she had trouble finding them and stuff. And I had them all because they were like a trend. Yes. A long time ago. Okay. How cool is this? Okay, I'm going to cut this out. All right. Oops. Okay, well, this was fun. It's not what I planned to do. Yeah, because I said, look, we can use these flowers for masks or stencils, and you just went with it. But I, I, okay, I just have to. Um, Makes a great August. I love the folder, and I love that calendar you showed me. I got to find that calendar. Okay, this was an art journal page. Oh, I don't think, think that was your folder. No, I was going to do folders, and then I thought, oh, I'm just going to pull oh. it out because this is my art journal that has all the leftover paint in it. So I just thought, well, I'll pull this out and just, like, put it in for a page, and I ended up, I've got another page done. So I could cut out the inside of this. And I do like those little flowers. It does finish it off. Okay. And this would, then the background would show. I could have an eyeball. Should cut that inside okay, out. Barbara. They're fun to draw. Ten seconds to do texture plates for metal. Uh I'm not sure. I have those. Oh, there's Eileen. 
You would have loved 10 second studios. Texture plates for the metal. Eileen's back. Eileen, I'm sorry if you're not mad at me. Um, all Kathy's fault. We weren't even sure you were talking about. Oh my God, I'll clear it up. Then you disappeared. Don't be mad. 10 second studios. Texture plates for the metals. Yes. I'm going to try the blue if I don't like it. I'm going to try a little bit. Oh, I'll try it on the back. Make sure I like it. I did the other with black. That would probably match better if I did. Oh, I could sh I'll show you those sheets of uh, aluminum I got. Ooh, okay, cool beat. Okay, there, that's done. That, see how that just finishes that off? It's done. Yay. One more page done. I think this will be the year that I actually finish a whole. I actually finish a journal. Ooh. Possibly. This one's getting. Uh, there's still a few pages. Uh, but not a ton. Okay. Oh, yeah, everybody chime in. Yes, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I can't multitask. I'm sorry. Okay. That's not showing up. May have to stick with black. I guess black will be the best. Thanks, Deborah. Okay. I just realized I'm totally not on camera. All right. Ooh, I should pull back. Pull back. Ooh, it's making purple. The black mixed with that's making it cool purple. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I went to order tape, and I thought I had gotten 6 by 12 sheets, and they ended up being 12 by 12. So this has aluminum, that aluminum foil on one side. And then the back is sticky back. Ooh. So I can put these through my embosser and cut out dies. I can do um, embossing folders. I can do it by hand. And it's sticky on the other side. I just have to pull this back and put it down. So I thought that was fun. Hi, baby. What you doing, Bandit? Hold on. I gotta open the back door. He might have to go potty. <laughs> All right. So I ordered that off of Amazon. And I will get the link for you guys. Hold on. Let me get that link. Here we go. All right. Amazon orders. Okay. Aluminum tape. Here it is, hold on. Okay. Copy and paste. Okay, here's the link for the aluminum tape. The aluminum tape sheets. All right. And I'm wondering, I wonder, I should try See, I don't know if it'll stick. I should try putting this through my puzzles. It's like a cameo machine. It may work on there. And I could even, I can emboss with that too. Huh. I should do a play day with that and see all the different things I can uh, do with this aluminum. Okay. What should I work on? Folder or door book or house book? My folders out. Okay. 
see. All right, I put the link up, Colleen, for the aluminum <coughs> sheets. Okay, and how thick, how thick are those? They're like the they're like the tape. Okay, they have, so they're pretty thin then. Okay. Yeah, and it's sticky back, so you just peel off the back, and it's got it's sticky. Oh, and they're twelve by twelve. So yeah, I said I was going to try it, see if I could cut it on my Pazzles machine, but I'll definitely through my die, I can do die cuts and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I put it in my cart. Oh, awesome. If you use some plaster on some cardstock and add the metal piece you did and wrap the sides around the cardstock, it will stop your metal from bending oh oh i see what you're saying eileen so to kind of reinforce it oh i did see about something about putting stuff in the back of the holes i did see that on the one lady's video where she she took and poured um was it molding paste or some other stuff? And then she put it in the back to reinforce. So it's harder. Yeah, so it doesn't collapse. Yeah, I did see that actually. Ooh, it's pokey. Hold on. I gotta cut that I gotta cut that point off. Ooh, that was really pokey. Okay. Oh, I know what I wanted to get. I wanted to get the paper lovers. Add this here. Okay, I zoom out too far. Okay. So the other door is here. I'm going to put these doors over here. Okay, I need two more doors. All right. So we're going to have the physics pad. This one I might save for a Halloween page. The purple? That'd be a cool Halloween thing. Oh, yeah, that's a, you know what's coming up. Now, Colleen, did you finish your Poe Scary or your Poe Halloween October journal last year? I didn't do a Poe book last year. I think I was the only one. Okay, but you did like a October one, like for Halloween, for right? Halloween book. Yep. Did you finish it? Probably. Oh, okay. Because I'm pulling out the Poe journal because mine was like Poe, Halloween, scary. And I'm going to pull that to work out to work on in October. I probably finished it. But oh, I, have okay. to look. I can start another. Yeah, it was fun. Start another Halloween book. Because when I was cleaning, I went through it, and then I saw Jersey was working on it, and Nikki, Nicole is doing that uh, glue, glue October, or glue Halloween stuff or something. But I thought instead of making a whole new, a whole new journal, I'm just gonna go. And I had planned on doing this last year. I can't believe it's come up already. I'm just going to continue working in this one because this had so many pages in it. Oh, I um, I'm just going to add, you know, there's lots of blank pages in here. That's, I would. I mean, yeah, yeah, you got lots of pages left. I don't think I made mine that big. Okay. This was one, this is one I got at the, at the market that was pre-made. Oh, Okay. So I think um, I'm. It'll be fun because, and then everything I was using, I threw in a basket. So I have oh. a lot of stuff. I can just pull that out and start gluing and doing pages and stuff like that. What is the big book of images you're pulling from? Oh, this big book of images. This Colleen showed. Um, hey, Nana. Thank you. Um, Colleen showed this in the beginning. It's the For Love of Papers florals. And it has all kinds. I'll just do a, a quick. Yeah, it has great images in it, Barb. You'll like it. Yeah, it has all kinds of, you can make envelopes. It has some stationery. There's stickers. There's paper to craft with. They've got postcards. I, it's on Amazon. 
and we've been using it. I used it to make some of my pockets, and I, right now I'm pulling images out to put in my June folder, which is kind of a floral theme. And I wanted to get these out. Actually, that might be that's it. Uh, like, well, it's like the it's like the flow book barber where it has like activities like to do in there. But the, it was the flowers she got out of that book, and um, it was like to make three D flowers. But when we we're going through it, that's when I'm like, hey, we could just use this for you know, um, mat for. Oh, I love that one. Oh, I like that too. Those that are really one. cool. Yeah, that one really shows up. And we could use those for stencils and masks when we we're doing the flip through. And then she just like, and then she, and I love how she did it. I probably, I might even copy that. I love how she did that. It was really good. Yeah. So it's called For the Love of Papers. It's the floral edition Somewhere. and yeah. it's published by Lark. That's where she got the flowers she's tracing was in here. Oh, yeah, the flower tracing. Here's another one. Yeah, show her that one. That was, yeah, there you go. See, that's, that's what crazy. started that whole page. I just popped out the flowers, used them as mass, used the other part as a stencil. So this is how I got to this. I had a, this is my art journal. I had some leftover paint like this. So a page that was similar to this with just a few masks and stencils. Okay, Tracy. And this is what we end up with. I use the Dina Whiteley sprays and some Tracy. Poscas. Thanks for and, being here. And some doodling. So yeah, so it was fun. It was fun. You never know. I mean, this is just you know, leftover paint. Oh, I could do something. I'll be here. at Sharon O's later if you come when you come back. You want to watch a stream. Thanks, Barbara. Okay. Where's my stays on? There it is. Oh, you're welcome, Tracy. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we'll be at Sharon O's later when you get back. You want to hang out yeah. somewhere. Okay, so these I wanted to pull out and incorporate it. Oh, you have these tools, Jersey? I know, isn't it cool? And then you get either the um, uh, roll of tape. Where's my tape? You can get rolls of tape at Home Depot or you can get these, uh, the sheets. The roll of tapes in my basket. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How cool is that? All right. I was gonna try to cut through it, but I'm unable to do it. So it might be harder than the strength I have to cut through it. Okay, right, so there's that one. I need one more door. Uh oh, I may have two flower themes going. You do? Well, I have, I forgot about this one. Oh. And I've got this. Like, that's all right. You like flowers. And then Peggy's. Oh, maybe I'll just cut these and stick these in here. Oh, I, okay. This is my flower one. And then the other one's really my blue one. So maybe I'll just cut these out and clip them in here somewhere. I'm using a stencil girl stencil, if you're wondering, to trace the doors. It's called, oh, it's by, uh, what's her, oh, I like her work, Sporn, um, what's her first name? It is one dash one four eight sporn. Um, I have several of her stuff. She does Bible journaling. She does. Um, she's got several. I think. Uh, what is her first name? Oh, okay. I like said they also have sheets of metal that you can sand over the color. And Jessica. it's Jessica Sporn. Sorry. Oh, Jessica Sporn. That's right. I was trying to yeah. think of her name. 
Okay, where you sand off the color and then the metal shows through. Oh, sand it. Oh, that's neat. Who makes that, Eileen? I could try it on these. I don't know if it'll work. Oh, oh, I'll try it on here. I tried on my, my sample purple door. I was making, trying to make sure this is going to work the way I had hoped it was going to work. But using a stencil. All right, let's see. I have some sandpaper in the other room. I'll try it. And if it works, it don't. It does, it does. All right. So I'm just taking my stylus and just tracing the stencil. Like you would paint in there. I use the door knocker. Hmm. Now you're doing the file folders with Cass. I'm doing the file folders. Is there anyone else who's stuck with it and making the 12 folders to make a book at the end? And that's here in chat. Is there anyone that is doing the uh, Cass file folders? Like stuck with it? Lena has. Lena. Oh, that's right. Lena. Thank you. Lena, okay, Lena and me and Kathy. Is there anyone else? I'm just curious. Here's the back side. Barbara, yeah, I'm doing uh, for my August folder recast. I'm doing uh, a door journal, a door folder since I did the door caboodle rosemary. I decided to go with the theme, and since I had the extra giant doors to do a door folder recast for all, I'm doing mine for August. Cass is doing her own thing. I mean, it's up to you what you put on your folder. So I'm just saying, she did do a door journal. That's just what I'm gonna do. All right, so there's that. Let me try sanding it too before I ink it. Uh oh. I don't know if it worked on this or not. But yeah, I love um, yeah, I love stencil girls stencil. Love them. Okay. All right. Uh oh, I don't know what. Uh, it works on here. Cool. I have to go. Oh, it makes them all grungy. Okay, hold on. Let me put it up high. You see? Look. Yeah, now you can see some some of that showing through. Now it's gonna make. And then I'll add the ink, and the ink should sink into the, the scraped area. Let's see. I don't have to push too hard, so I don't want to. Okay, well, I don't need to buy Tim's deckled edge cutter. You have it? You forgot? No, I think I broke my good cutter, and <laughs> here's how it cut. Oh, no. Dude, how did you think you broke it? I don't know. The whole thing is, like, out of whack. I'm going to have to take it apart. Ugh. It's like it's stuck in some groove that it shouldn't be stuck in. Oh, that's fun. This does, the sanding is pretty cool. It works on this, at least on this architecture metal. Okay. See. Oh, nice. Okay, now let's add some ink on there. Oh, like ah, Ooh, here's some black metal where she's, I'll get that picture. On IG, Eileen? 
Instagram, yes. It's the... Oh, I like it. Oh, now it's really grungy. Oh, I love that. I made. Mean. Okay. So now you can see on the uh, some of the get my camera to focus. Come on, camera. There you can see the black ink on some. And then the scratches on the other. Hold on. May I tilt it? I need to tilt it. It's just too shiny between the light and the. Oops, wrong share screen. Which is all grunge, which is what I wanted. I was going for going for grunge. All right, I'm gonna grunge these two. These are going in my in my folder. Me okay. It. Here's Eileen's pop up the other picture of me. So we'll do it in a reverse order. Okay. Hi. Oh, you just woke up. We've been talking about going over and hanging out with you in 50 minutes. There's her channel. If you all copy paste her name, and I also I think had the link. You can you can find her on YouTube, and she'll be streaming with Johnny and Brooke, who are lots and lots of fun, and they're your jelly plates. And that will be in 50 minutes. So grab that link and say uh, like copy paste her name. Go to another window, open it up on YouTube, and you'll find her. Okay, were you able to pick, uh, click that in the, in the. Add to stream. Oh, there. That's us. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do? You just need to add a different one to it. Oh. Try again. I thought I had it. Just a minute. Yeah, I've been, saying, I've been telling everybody to go over there and hang out with you. Oh, and I see what I did. Never mind. And okay. Broken. Okay. Oh. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over top of the ink that's already on this one. Yeah. They're by it some place to hang out. Okay. There you go, Colleen. All right. Bye, Joan. Have a nice dinner. Bye, Joan. Thanks for coming. Okay. Yeah. Here's. Cool. Okay, that's black metal that she embossed and then sanded off a lot of the black so the silver showed. Oops. Awesome. Hold on. There. Is that an embossing folder that she was talking about? I don't know if I have metal. I definitely don't have that. I didn't even know those existed. Yeah, I think that was she embossed it with an embossing folder. A, a normal embossing folder or a special one? Eileen, so I can try this on a normal embossing folder. Probably just a regular embossing folder. I mean, if it's nothing tricky, I can try that. I'm just not going to, I'll experiment. These are for my folder, the doors. But I will do it. I'll use Whatever I come up with, I'll use it somewhere else. That's really cool. Okay. I, have, I have feathers. Ooh, a feather one would be neat. I have a feather, feather would be cool. Shoulder with the, with that, and we could do different colors. I have black, a purple, black, silver, copper, blue. I got different colors in metal. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. You take the different color metal and then you you uh, sand it back. I sand it back and then I put it through the texture paper. No, sand no. First, texture paper. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, I think you emboss it and then you sand it and then the silver shows through the color. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I did here. So I embossed it, this stencil. Then I added the black ink and now I just scratched over it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so no, it's not an embossing folder. Okay, she's. I'm confused. Oh, it's the 10 second studio plate. Oh, I need something special. Why I don't have that? So if it's a regular the one, I can... Is that what you do? Now, I thought I had some plates somewhere.
I like this one because this one had the like with the door open and then like seeing in the house like this one really grunged up. I'm going to put some photos on Instagram so you can see how cool this is close up. You can use an oh okay but you can use an embossing pot folder. And say I have those but I don't have the Tim plates. Yeah. I'm trying to think did I get those plates to do jelly plating with? Were those the plastic plates, Eileen, or was that something else? Did Jean have those? I have a couple plastic ones, the giant ones that came with my plastic ones that came with my uh, giant kick shot or big shots, huge. Like embossing plates? Mm -hmm. So plastic, you could the plastic one, like it, I'll show you, it came with it. Oh, they're heavy plates. Okay. That's a nice plate. That turned out nice, Eileen. So you rub the metal over that, and then you rub the paper over that, and then sanded it? Or just okay. put the paper on top and then sand it to get it Is to come it over? Like it, Eileen? Oh, sorry. My camera just totally hated that. Okay. Come on. Okay, do you see this is white and it has bumps on it, like Braille? Is this what she's talking about me doing? Or is she talking about a giant texture plate with, or a texture plate? This one came with my Sizzix, but. Um, no, it's something completely different. She said it was a hard plate. This is hard. But you could do that. You could do that. Uh, this is a hard plate. So let me try it on this. If it doesn't work, doesn't work. No biggie. No biggie. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> Jersey. <laughs> oh, you know what? I meant to ask Helen. I don't think she's here. I think she just got a good deal on the on the Big Shot Plus. She deserves a plural book. I think you do too. I think you deserve a plural book. Well, maybe this is done then. Maybe I don't need these. use them for something else you know what i'm just gonna clip these in here with these there and then they'll be here if i need to uh i know where to look for flower stuff if i need it that's what i'll do is i'll stick all these in here any kind of flower things i have Ugh. and then i'll know where to look okay that oh and this is the one that's going here, I think. Was I going to staple that on? Staple or use one of the paper clips? Does anyone find praying fabric relaxing? It depends. I know I tried praying some denim, and I didn't find that relaxing when we were trying to fray the denim for the feathers. And it was terrible to try to like spray that um, denim. Now, if it's easy fabric to spray, I would say yes. I did some denim; it's terrible. It, was so, it killed my fingers. Okay, so here's a plastic plate. Here's a colored foil. Okay, I'm going to look at my little things. I don't know what I need. I don't know what I need. Okay. Do I need a silicone sheet? Oh, well, I only have small silicone sheets. I don't have giant ones. Oh, here's some of the, okay, thanks, Eileen. 
Okay, let me see. Okay, hold on. Ah. Tense. Okay, I know. I think you'll recognize him when you see him, Colleen. We have them at Joggles, but they're sold out. No, I think I see what I think. I think I had gotten some of these. I should go look. Does it look anything like mine? Okay, put put the share on. Put put the share on. I've got it up. Oh. These. Oh, I don't have. Well, this is very similar. Yeah, I think what you have that'll work. Now so I know. One side is recessed, and one side is up, and one side is recessed. So yeah, this might work. We're gonna try it. So if you use the upside with the sandpaper, it should go through. If it works. Okay. It works. If it don't, it don't. I may have some of these. Because I can't fly it here instantly, so we're just gonna just gonna try it. Just because this is what I have, and I'm gonna try. It. Is that gonna work? Might be too fluffy. Hold on. Let me try. Let me think here. Um, let's try one plate. Hold on. Leave to me. Let's do something I've never done before. It may not work. <laughs> God. See, that's too loosey goosey. Hold on. yelling what are you doing okay so she's laughing at me <laughs> let's see oh, now it's too fluffy <sighs> without it it's without it, it doesn't work Ugh. I'm afraid that I don't want to break my big shot I don't care what to do yeah don't break your big shot yeah, because if it's really hard, I don't want to force it. So, like, I can't turn that through. Hmm. Can you do it by just rubbing the sandpaper over the top? I'm going to have to just try that. We'll just, we could try just smushing it and see what happens. So I'm out of ideas at this point. I'm trying every combination I've got laying here to see if I can get this to work. I am no big shot expert. Don't try this at home. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling I have something like that, but where it is, I haven't used it. I haven't come across it in my organizing, my recent organizing anyway. I have it stored away like it's a, something you used to use but don't use. I well, Kathy it. said you might need a piece of foam on top. All right. Yeah, well, I think I've either got it, it's too fluffy or it's too, like I haven't been able to get it through here. Like I make, it's too thick, whatever sandwiches I'm doing. Does that work? Oh, I found one. I found a combo that worked. Let's see. Let's see. Cross ooh. your fingers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cross your fingers, people. I think it's working. Okay. All right. All right, let's cross our fingers. So I did it. I did a plate. Oh, it did work. Ta da! Oh, nice. Not great, but it worked. Like you can see, it's slightly. There you go. It's not super indented, like, but it's so I used the main plate, the green one, 
the texture plate, this and this, and it works. But it's so I here's the back. So it is got the pattern. I would say it's not like major league and dinner. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's like just if I had used. Let's try one more time with a swoosh. Let's see. Let's try it with this. We'll do a smaller piece of foil. Okay, so we got plate in that. Try this again. It was. I'll do the smaller piece just only because I don't have a big like a foam for it. Okay, silver side down. Ooh, what would happen then? It's gonna be white. That won't work. Need color. <laughs> I remember they had these at Joann's. They had these at Joann's a while back. Because I remember seeing them. Okay, so. What was I going to do? This was going to be hate when stuff gets discontinued that worked, that was good, and then it's gone. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun. Oh, yeah, I found this because I thought, look at Kathy, I thought this went. This kind of goes with what's on the what's what's on the front. So maybe this will be my inside. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Also, just for funsies, it's like a, I'm going to try. I'm making up words now. Um, I'm going to try the texture plate too, just because why not? Right, the normal texture plate. Ow, oh, hand. Um, let's try normal texture plate. Okay, so we got the the platform, the green thing. This bumpy side up. Lay this down. I may not need the green thing if I do the sun sun. But it might be a better impression. Unfold to the rescue. Let's try. Oh, look what I found, Kelly. What's the question for time? this? What is it? Oh, there you go. Your picture. That here, I got to pull this out and put it in your pile. <laughs> I, yeah. what, I was looking for these. I put it in the folder. I'll send these to you. Oh, thanks, Sophia. She said she loves when we stream for hours because she gets a chance to, to watch us. Yeah, you can come and go and do, do things that real life takes us away from art and come back. Okay, um, or for some, somehow that got put in the flower thing. Who knows? See, maybe I can find some more stuff for. Oh, this is blue. Okay. The fun fun might give me a better impression. It's there, but the yeah, the impression was very light. Now I'm customizing this, and if I like it, I'll tape it together. <laughs> then I'll have it. Okay, fun fun. So who knew? Okay, fun fun. Oop, I cut that one. I'll push that over. Okay, fun fun. On top of this white thing, on top of the texture thing. Okay, now this on top. Let's see if this works. All right, at least well, it'll work. We'll see if it gives a better impression. Uh, sliding around, son of a mm -mm -mm. no cursing, no cursing. Sign up for no cursing. 
it's it's gonna work. I just my fun phone's not surfy. All right. Try not to curse. PG. Y'all can curse for me, will you? I'm not streaming. Okay. Nope. Right. Both of these. Okay, I'm going to make a copy of this one. Push this down here, guys. And move. Don't move. Do not move. I got to get everything working at the same time. And not moving. That's where I'm at. I got all these layers. I'm having to make sure that nothing moves. That's why you need. Do you have the metal thing, Colleen? That's my next purchase. Is the metal yeah, the bottom pushing a ton? I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times. Yeah, it's going through very, very, very easy. I couldn't decide if I needed that green thing or not. Or stick a sheet of paper on the top of it too to thicken it. Okay, let's do that real quick. I don't want to like line this up again. Like this was, let's just do this. Good idea. And because I don't want to move it, else it's going to be screwed up. Okay, slide that. It's just so we can get, I want to make sure we get, I'm trying to get a good impression so when we sand those, oh no, that's my fire. It's good. Oh, thank you, Sophia. She's helping me out. <sighs> Is there paper on the fun phone? No. <laughs> thank you. She's, she's, she's helping me out. That's what's in my head right now. Blanky, 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 blank, blank, blank. Because it's all moving. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. My camera is probably like, what? Okay, that took much better. I'm going to show you the, for the other one. Okay, this is the other one. Okay, you see the dots? That's the first one. And this is with the fun foam. You can see that it indented all the way around, all the way through. I can't really tell. It's the, I'm sorry. Like, let me move my camera away from my light. Maybe I can use my brain there. But like this is, see how much better that is? That works much better. Oh, nice. Yeah, like see how it is? And then the fun foam worked. Thank you, Kathy. I had to blankety blank, but it worked. Okay. Now, what was I supposed to do now? Now, is this where you can take the the sandpaper? Sandpaper, okay. Yes, Eileen. Is this where she takes the sandpaper and then rubs it off and then it, the silver will show through? I got to find my sandpaper and my buried mess around me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The fun foam works. Now I've got some little pieces here. I'm going to try the texture phase. Because i got all these little pieces. So I may as well try the texture phase. And just see what happens. What's, worse, what's the worst thing can happen? I wonder if these would emboss. Okay. Where is it? I lost my sandpaper. How did I lose my sandpaper? It's here. Searching. Searching. Oh, there's my sandpaper. Oh, there's my sandpaper. Oh, my gosh. How did I lose my sandpaper already? Oh, my goodness. You know it's here. You know it's right here. Then it's right in front of my face, and I'm not seeing it. 
I've buried it. You know it. Oh, no, you're still looking for your sandpaper? Yeah, I don't have a sandpaper. I could go raid the garage, but I'm just, don't worry. But, oh, my goodness. Bless okay, me. Cass said that's how she embossed her wood doors. Wow. Ew. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's see where I laid my sandpaper. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Where's my sandpaper? Would it be just off to your right or your left? I want to sand it really bad. I can't find my sandpaper. I want to like. I'm ready. No. Oh, I used it. I forgot I had this. Phew. Oh, uh, rhubarb from your garden. Cass is taking us into her kitchen while she makes a rhubarb pie. That sounds okay. so good. I forgot I have this thing, the sand thing. The oh, tumble perfect. Tumble this might even work better. Yeah. I think. Oh, you know what I did? I think I embossed the wrong side. Son of a gun. I have all that, Eileen. I think I embossed the wrong side. Good look. I don't know. I think I embossed the wrong side. I could have. That would not surprise me. It still might work though. You'll leave the you'll see the blue. Eileen still now this is where my fun foam didn't cover the whole thing. Okay. I'm gonna have a few crisscrossies. Oh Eileen loves to come up with these things and she knows I'm gonna do it. She just knows it. Colleen to do it. Okay, Safia, no, they don't mean a tart. They mean a pie and a tart are different. Let's try this one, my first one. See, that one was one that barely. See, this is the first one I did that barely took. Of course, I can sand it, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. That was the second one, so you got to have that pad. It looks like I'm going to be buying the big shot foamy pad that goes with it. I need it apparently. So a pie can be a pie comes up on the sides, but it can have a top or it can be open, but it comes up on the sides where a tart is flat and then it's got the layers but no sides. Is that right? The blue's coming off. Yep. It's coming oh, cool. off Eileen. You see that? Because that is coming off. No, pecan, uh, pecan pie or pumpkin pie do not have a pastry lid. Correct. So they're, those are pies. They're not tarts. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Oh, good. So if you have the colored metal paper, run it through with the, with the embossing folders and then sand it, sand off the color. Okay, I'm going to try the embossing folder. Get another dive after this. And keep going. All right, I got my I'm going to try the embossing folder because I got all these little pieces and see if it works or not. Okay, so a tart has okay so i here if i'm not mistaken i think a tart doesn't have sides like if i were going to go buy a tart it would just have a flat crust but no pastry on the sides Okay, so pie always means a lid there. Okay, I see what you're saying. And here, a pie does not always have a lid.
chart in Canada is mini pie without a top. Okay, see now here, for some reason, I think tart to me, a tart is something completely different than a pie. And either one cannot have lids. Hmm. I'll have to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to look that up later. Okay. Yes, and then there's that too. Okay, now I'm confused. That's why I need to put this on here. I don't remember. Well, I have enough. If I screw this up, I can do another one. that in there and then put this thing on here and then put this on here and see if it works okay that's what i thought and i was thinking of a tart pan it's more of a flat thing right with no sides Oh, and then Jane said, I think that is Luckily, these top, are um, paste on. out of no sides. Is it tart? T-A-R-T-E. Ah, okay. Let's do this. Okay, ready? Okay, so this is one plate, the texture thing, and one foamy thing. One texture and one foamy? One texture plate, or one the normal plate, one foam thing. Let's see if this works. Oh, that works. Nice. Look, Eileen. It took a while, but we got, oh, that is nice. It totally worked. This totally worked. Or pastry crust tend to be firm and crumbly and not at all flaky. Hey, Eileen, check out the feathers. Yeah. That's okay. While you were figuring that, Colleen, we were debating between tarts and pies. I know nothing about either, so I'm glad I'm not that The pie, that's the things I go to, it's in the frozen aisle, and I put them in my oven and bake them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I like going to the bakery, get my pie, and just cut it and bite it in. I don't even have to heat it up. <laughs> All right. Oh, add some ink on top of this one. Did all that work? I could just use a texture fade, which is what I said in the beginning. Oh, Eileen's fault. Oh, that turns out really nice. Yeah, look at that. Oh, now you need an a door embossing folder. A door That's and window. exactly what I need. A door or window embossing folder. Yep. That would have been perfect for the book. Ta-da! Cool beans. Okay. Now, put some stays on over top. And 
Now I'm gonna go and scratch it again after it dries, just to see. Here, we'll use this to dry it. <laughs> I'll scratch it a little bit more. Ah, I see, Safia. Okay, so the mo all right. So she said in England, she's curious because the most famous American pies are things that in England would not be considered pies because they don't have a lid. Okay. I see why you were asking now. Yeah, it was totally worth the effort, Anne. Because now we know that you can just do a, thank you, Jane. You could do just a normal texture plate, a texture plate, and just put a piece of fun foam, or if you have like this, which I have, which is ancient, you see it's all glittered, and boom, and, like, and then covered it, I scratched it, put stays on, now I'm going to scratch it again. I could have just left it white, like we had it, with the silver, but let's just, let's just, he said that the stays on is not like, Perfect. It looks distressed. So it's half silver and then like half black with a blue background. Oh, cool. Okay, hold it up. If you don't want grunge, don't sand it. Okay, so you see I sanded it. Am I getting the scratches? That one, the scratches might show up because it's solid. Hold on. I get my camera there. So now I think. Oh, that is so cool. And then the black. I'm trying to get my camera, but there. Like now you can really see the scratches. I'm going to hold it here for a second. Now you can see this grungy. Ah, oh, that turned out good. I like it. That was a fun experiment. There's the back side. Okay, so what would happen if I throw alcohol ink on here? Oh, let's find out. Let's see. Let's do another one. Let's throw some alcohol ink on the next one. Oh. That's so pretty. I'm so happy with that one. Happy, happy, happy. All right. Let's try the... Let's do... Let's throw some alcohol ink on it, too. All right. So we could do the feather again. That way, I guess we have a fair comparison. It has a lot of nooks and crannies. And we'll do the feather again. I'll do... Well, that way to be like, this is the feather with alcohol ink. This is with that. And we can all figure out, like... Oop, that's the heart one. Hello. Which way you like better? Okay, so you got this. This. Oh. Oh, which way did I do it? No, this, then this, then this. I think. Or they come in a tube and you put them on a pan and you heat them up. <laughs> Alcohol on the back of the blue. Does that mean I want to switch my blue? Hold on. Okay. Well, I got silver. Should I just... Well, sorry. Sorry, bossy. Too late. Okay, I'll do another one after this. I will... Feathers, and I got to line it up. Feathers will not go to waste. I agree, Safia. I love fresh scones. In fact, I took I took a cooking class uh, about two years ago, and the class was scones. We made scones, and they were so good. Sliding out. Ooh, it sucked it in. That's not good. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. 
I did it wrong, apparently. Hold on. Put it underneath. Then we'll <laughs> it roll it. around it? Oh, no. There we go. Don't do what I just did. Luckily, it pulled right out. It's a good machine. It lets you screw up and fix it and everything. Okay. All right. So there it is again. So that was, uh, that actually might not be bad to have. Like, this is like a before and after. After, you know, this is like fresh out. And this is after you sand it and ink it. The difference. That might be good before and after. Okay. I'm going to get a silver piece of paper. What about muffins? Star muffins are completely different. Oh, yummy. My favorite muffin is cranberry orange right now. <laughs> I like just said, oh my God, because the, I know, I know. <laughs> the, the, the foam. <laughs> hey, it didn't hurt it. It's fine. This makes a mean machine. Just saying. I had my other one forever. I mean, like. 15 years, I was doing that stuff with scrapbooking, so just saying. Probably my favorite British food is scones, and then for a meal, fish and chips. Oh, now you want me to move for Long John Silver's. Fish and chips, sounds good. Okay, Colleen, Anne has a question. She's back to the windows. Um, can she add the embossing glaze while the gesso is still wet, or should she dry it? No, dry it. Dry the, dry the gesso. Yeah, dry the gesso and then put the embossing stuff I think on. if you were going to try that, I would try it on something you don't care about. Yeah. If you want to experiment... I know that this worked. If you want to experiment with it, um, I would try it on something you don't care about. Okay. All right. So here's that. Did it on the silver. So I'm going to look, we look good on the silver. Only thing I have handy is the rust. I use that a lot. Let's see. Okay. All right, I need to reload the tape runner. Oh my gosh, all this talk about scones. I would love a scone right now. Hey, Safia, where are you in the UK? Who makes silly embossing plates? Let's see. I'm guessing Darcy. Yeah. Doris. How do you pronounce that? Or is it Darcy? Darcy. D-A-R-C-I. That's who makes the plate. Yeah, and if you look, I think they sell those at Hobby Lobby, and they oh. also sell those at Joann's. Hobby Lobby and Joann's. Okay, I probably got, I don't know if I got there Tuesday morning. But um, I had gotten a bunch of those. This is how I had embossing plates before I even had a die cutter thingy, because I was... It, um, I think it was. Yeah, they were good for scrapbooking. Had a bunch of them on sale for like a dollar. So I bought them to just use on my jelly plate. Oh, your texture plate? Oh. Yeah. Are they, well, I guess you got to put them in some water. and Otherwise, that could be really pain to clean. Yeah, just wipe them off with a uh, baby wipe. Get in the nooks and crannies. Yeah, if I do, if I wipe it with a baby wipe right away. It's fine. So I, I kind of went backwards with my 
big shot. I had the plates before I had that. Oh, you're welcome, Dot. I'm gonna lower my camera again. Take a seat. Oh my gosh. Savory scones with a bit of bacon or cooked ham and a little shredded cheese. Ugh. Oh. I'm starving here. I didn't eat. We haven't had lunch yet. You guys can't talk about food. <laughs> I think when I when we're done, I'm going to the bakery to see if she has any scones. <laughs> <laughs> My little felt thingies. Yeah. Hey, Teresa. Yeah, this is a baby wipe. I just want to not get my fingers all gross. Hold on. Okay, so use that. And then throw some brown and with the turquoise. Ooh, don't make a mess, Molly. That. Okay. This is working pretty good. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Of course, I love turquoise and brown, so I'm all yeah. over that. I'm just going to run, just put. I'm going to make one funky one over here. Do yeah, put those aside for the uh, Native American caboodle kit. Oh, good idea. I'll make one funky just to see. Yeah, Colleen, go big so they can see. Oh, sorry. Go big or go home. All right. Go big. Here we go. Making one funky. This is for the people that like bright colors, Jersey. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there's one bright one. I'm going to make the rest the colors I like. <laughs> I'll cut that one off. I'll save that for Jersey. If I, ever, if I send her happy mail or something and put an envelope. Send her the funky one. All right, now set that one aside. So you can make them as colorful as you want, right? I'm going to do the what I love, which is this is a uh, ginger. This is ginger and turquoise. You are the boss of your feathers, Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm not the boss of much else. So, yeah, I'm going to be the boss of my feathers. This is fun. Anytime you get the alcohol, you eat that. You're going to get messy. I've stained fingers for days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who would have thought you would have had the alcohol inks up today, Colleen? That was not my plan. <laughs> my plan was, uh, my, yeah, my plan is uh, we're going to do pockets and now I'm going to do my August folder. And here I am, like, just because just I remembered the metal part. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Now, I'll just dry a minute, and then we'll sand it again just for fun, because we can. It's our feathers. All right. I'm sure you don't have 
too much of that. You need a happy amount of brown and happy amount of turquoise. Oh, I like that, a happy amount. Happy. happy I wanted amount. to be happy feathers. <laughs> Put the blending solution on. Why? It's going to push it off. Why am I doing that? Okay, so it, I mean, blending solution just push it out of there. Dump it this way. And it turned it green. Okay, Eileen, I'm going back in for more color because it just pushed all the color out. I didn't like it. Oh, okay. But Eileen said put some blending fluid. I did. It just oh. all I did was turn it green and it turned the, the turquoise oh. and brown became green and then it just kind of whooshed off. Oh, I don't know okay. what the, I don't know if that works as good on on the metal. Although I got a pretty green going in on the outside there. Oh, thanks, Dar. Dar put up the link for the jelly plate stream, which will be starting in three minutes. I can't believe it's been five three hours. Minutes. Five hours. Holy crap. Okay, there's the fun one. And that's at this side. Oh, welcome, Gail. Thanks for coming. I'm going to mail it to, I'll mail that one to put that in the envelope, send that to Jersey. Okay. Gail's like going to get something to eat. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm starving too, Gail. I mean, I'm sitting there like, we're all hungry. But boy, I had fun now. So now we know. Just work through that. You don't have to have the big plastic thingies. You can use your texture fades and some fun foam or foam and run it through your die cut machine and boom. And then I can't wait till you cut those out. Yeah, and you can sand them. You can do like this one where I sanded them, throw an ink pad over it. Clearly, it's gone. Ink. It's gone. <laughs> I mean, it's lots of different things. I like it. That was a fun experiment. And all because I decided to put uh, metal doors in my journal. Right. And I may add some uh, turquoise alcohol ink to these, too. Uh, and I, so, yeah, all because I decided to do this. And then this led to this. I love how the stream ends. You just never know. I know. And I love how those turned out. Like, that turned out pretty awesome so it ends up you start with one and then we just go with it but we did learn about embossing pockets paper we did all kinds of stuff today plus i did all these yeah it was fun yeah i hope everybody had a good time i'm gonna put these all out because i know my cameras oh it usually sometimes i'll have a good thing it'll leave up and then sometimes it's terrible and when it's like that's terrible. I don't know if people going through my video and doing something dumb. <laughs> I'm going, what the heck did she make? I can't tell what the heck she made. Okay, Eileen needs a coffee machine. All right, I'll see you guys. Don't go with that one. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thanks for being here.